Hello. Hello, everyone. Can you hear me? Hello, hello, hello. I think you can hear me. Hello, everyone. Hi. How's it going? We can hear you. Yay. How does it sound? I took the uh, noise gate off. Let me know. Good to see everyone. Wow. Look at all you folks. Holy smokes. Wow. Sarah, Silty, Tess, Quill, Ruach, Wastage, Maria, Summer. Wow. Welcome, everyone. Hawkeye. D Rock. <laughs> yes, everyone's here. Holy smokes, a very um, good to see you all. My goodness. Frogman, hello. Helga, wow, look at everyone's here. Look at you folks. Bright and early. Thanks for coming by, everyone. All right. Uh, what are we doing? What are we doing today? We're cooking, I think. So, <laughs> this is going to be a bit crazy, I think. We got three recipes. So let's um let's have a coffee and go through it. I'm a chef, so I'm excited. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. Well we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out as we go. So let's just walk through what we're up to here today. I'm gonna make a coffee. So we're gonna need coffee. Got that. Uh then we have cookie dough bars. Thai food, we're making some pad thai, and uh, also some wraps, so let's just go through it and uh, figure out what the heck we're doing, how about we welcome everyone, good to see you, hope you're having a great day, thank you for joining us. Alright, let's go through the recipes first, how about... Okay, I think we have to start with the mushrooms because they're gonna take the longest. <laughs> so we'll figure we'll figure this out. Let's just talk about this here. So these uh, wraps that I'm doing, I'm basically modifying them to suit me. I make coffee and I have to throw it out. It tasted horrible. Oh no! How did you screw up coffee? I'm sorry, sir. That sucks. That sucks. So if you're following along, this is in the Discord. Um, Oh, you know what I should do is... Uh, it's too late now. It's too late now. <laughs> I should have put a... Uh, Alright, we'll see you later. Wasted. I should have put a uh, recipes uh, command. Oops. I was a little busy <laughs> this morning. I had some last minute adjustments I had to make. Okay, so the tofu wraps. Let's talk about those. They're basically like a crispy sesame tofu mushroom lettuce wrap with cabbage and uh, these sort of sautéed slash fried uh, mushrooms and stuff. Hey, Violet, just good to see you. Welcome in, everyone. Atomic, hello, hello. Lurk, all right, enjoy your lurk. <laughs> Thank you, everyone. Uh, so these, let's see, what do we need to do? You need tofu, mushrooms, oil, tamari, cornstarch, panko, all right, easy, easy. Holy smokes, this is a big recipe. What are we doing? Chop stuff, clean things, prep things, bake things. Okay, baking. How much, uh, how much oven temp do we need? <laughs> we totally know what's going on, folks. Great to see you all. Hey, thanks for doing shouts. I appreciate that. Helga and Silty, part of this community and streaming as well. So make sure you go check them out. Uh, Helga's been some long dark. Silty's been playing a few different games, but some Horizon lately. Very good stuff. Okay, here we go. 425. Whoa. Okay, we're preheating the oven at 425. Uh, how's this? Is this like insanely loud? Do I need to like, turn, turn down a bit? I don't want to kill your ears, you know? Let me know. Let me know. It's fine? All right. You like tofu? Prefer firm? Yeah, I always get the firm stuff unless they're out. Uh, but let's get this oven turned on here. All right. 
coffee time. We gotta make a coffee, folks. We gotta make a coffee. Yeah, Ruok is streaming too. I thanks for shouting Ruok out. Yeah, Ruok's doing uh, the Wands Challenge, I guess people are calling it. No one gets out alive. So do check out Ruok as well. Alright, coffee. So I'm gonna just turn this down a bit. the raid thank you Ruach. i appreciate that if you ended your stream just to come see me oh that's sweet of you welcome in and thank you for doing that raid Ruach. i appreciate that uh folks yeah we got some excitement today uh let me know what you think uh we have some stuff to share with stream but we don't have to do it all right away hey jen good to see you oh a nice one violacious that's really sweet of you yeah give everyone everyone drop some follows to these uh streamer friends hanging out um you know scratch scratch the backs of of your friends or whatever they say i don't know the i don't know the turn of phrase <laughs> but everyone welcome thanks for joining me we're doing coffee that's the most important step here at the at the start of the cookout so i've got this thing it's called an aeropress basically it's three parts you've got a filter Ooh. just burnt myself so it's a filter and then basically be quiet you have this two-part plunger you fill this with coffee grounds and boiling water and then you flip it upside down and press it it's pretty simple it makes a great cup of coffee let's show you as best I can here I just eyeball it. It's a, it's a healthy amount of caffeine. Let's just leave it at that. All right, so I remember what this is from last time, but basically we're blooming the coffee first. We're blooming it, which means we're giving it a little shot of liquid to get things, get things happening. Nice time for your game to turn around. You just got there and saved? Nice. Forge? Right on. Good job, Ruak. Yeah, I was lurking a little bit, and uh, it looked like you were at the Milton Basin with a deer. Very cool. Very cool. All right, now we're just sort of stirring this up real quick, about 10 seconds. I've got this paddle. Yeah, this is an AeroPress, by the way, folks. It's about 40 bucks. It's a really good cup of coffee, and it's portable. It's like a great thing for hiking, if you do hiking. Just sort of packs down real small. All right, I gotta soak the pad a little bit. We'll figure this out yet, we'll figure this out. I got this long cable. my favorite Yeti mug. Great mug, great mug. Hey, Yen, good to see ya. So what are we cooking? Uh, we're starting with a coffee. We're making a coffee. Um, shoot. You know what? I should take a minute. Give me a minute. I'll just update, because I feel like I need to give credit to the authors. I'm just going to update my Streamlabs.
We did it. All right, let me catch my chat. Holy smokes. So many greetings. Yeah, again, everyone, uh, we've got a special kind of uh, Valentine's Day event today, and you got to thank Yen because it was uh, all their idea. I had nothing to do with it. <laughs> I'm just here to cook. Oh, and by the way, folks, guess what? We, uh, we had 2K followers yesterday. So good job, everyone. Like, pat yourselves on the back. 2K. 2K follows. Nice one. Hashtag not sponsored. <laughs> yeah, Yeti. If you're if you're looking for um, baby streamers to sponsor, <laughs> here we go. Your title is still TLD? No, no, it's just chatting. Uh, try exiting out of your Twitch uh, and check again. Should be just chatting. Can't believe I was intimidated by trivia. You know, I'm in love with it. Nice. Yeah, two K hype, just like that. Yeah, yeah, and I was like, what the heck? Secret Santa for Valentine's Day? What is, that doesn't even make sense. Cooking no backseating hard mode. Oh yeah, this is hard mode. We're doing gluten-free, plant-based, chatting with chat. I got three things going at once. And, and get this, I think looking at the recipes, I'm going to have to start multiple things like earlier, you know? It's going to be complicated. No worries, Tess, no worries. I appreciate it. Okay, wait, wait, wait. We forgot about our coffee. Oh god, not like this. Not like this. Alright, so that's the invert. And now it's just like a gentle pressure. You don't need to like smash it down. You want to just like ease that caffeine into your cup, you know? Uh, yeah, the lettuce wraps are a dynamite. But get this, Sarah. I actually only ever did them once with the lettuce wrap. And I found like it was a bit too, um... Maybe it was because I washed the lettuce. It was a bit too moist. So I ended up doing... Where the heck are they? Oh, here they are. I, I, did, uh, I did them with these here. It's like a rice paper wrap. So I do them with that. But I also um, just, I just do a bowl. I just like put all the ingredients in a bowl and eat it. <laughs> it's just so good. It's literally like one of my favorite things to eat. Rice paper, yeah, it's just a cleaner. Like the, the lettuce wraps are good, but if you get lettuce that's torn or the piece is too small, it's just like eating a mess, you know? It's just a mess, it makes a mess everywhere. <laughs> so we'll do up the lettuce wraps. Whoa! Thanks for all the memories once. Time flies when you're having fun. Nice, Tess has been sub for one year holy smokes on an 11 month streak folks throw some hype in the chat for that huge huge year of support one year test my goodness thank you so much i'm making a mess already i'm kind of like tied up to this microphone or this headset it's giving me the business We'll figure this out, folks. All right, get this figured out. Holy smokes, okay. Chaos Kitchen, folks. That's what we got here today. Chaos Kitchen. You got the moon. Yeah, you got the shiny moon. GG. Uh, you can't, you flip it. Well, I probably could. I probably could. Like, what? All right, I feel like I'm... <laughs> yeah, this is a bit better. Yeah, yeah, this this works, this works. Good idea. Uh, village, make sure you loot the pantry. <laughs> yeah, we got, we got treats and snacks and miscellaneous junk. Okay, let's just hang out for a minute. Let's hang out for a minute here and drink some coffee. Do you even need the headphones? Yeah, because if I'm, uh, like, not paying attention and there's alerts, like, if someone does a thing, I won't hear it, right? Uh, so yeah, that's the problem is I'm hooked up to my OBS, so if there's alert sounds, I get the pickup. TLD isn't bullying you? Well, come hang out with us. We're doing cooking. <laughs> we're doing cooking. All right, um, I think we're gonna start chopping mushrooms. That's the main... Ah, oh, dang, I don't know. 
I don't know what we're doing, folks. I haven't thought about this that hard. I just thought I'd come together, you know? I thought it'd just all come together. Uh, okay, we got a food processor. I got a walk somewhere. Yeah, I got a walk. So I got my walk ready. I got a food processor. I got the oven preheating. Okay, let's start with the mushrooms. We'll steal your arrow, then give me, give me 40k of meat disappear. Oh no! Rip. Can I make it to the fridge? Oh, I can. I'm at the fridge. Alright. We've got these mini Bella mushrooms. Again, I'm putting the cutting board down. But look at this, it's slipping everywhere. Oh no, what do I do? What do we do, folks? What do we do? You can use like a paper towel like this, or you could get like a dish rag thing. Uh, just get it damp. Get, get it damp, your towel. Slap it down. And now all of a sudden, this isn't going anywhere. It's just like a great way to secure your cutting surface, which makes it safe, right? All right, I've got this great knife. I'm just gonna give it a quick sharpen. Do you like that noise? <laughs> Try to keep it even. I'm doing like six passes on each side. It's pretty good. Doesn't take much. And if you like keep your knife sharp, it's gonna be awesome. You don't want a dull knife. We talk about this every time. But a dull knife is the kind of knife that gives you injury. Hey, Van Al Joe. Yeah, <laughs> we got some uh, got some long dark ASMR IRL. Yeah. Hey. Loser freak. Welcome to the Grim Gang. Atomic. Come on now. Come on now. Don't make me self conscious. <laughs> All right, we're doing mushrooms here, folks. And uh, the thing with these is they. I want them like. I want them basically crispy. I want them to be like almost like bacon bits. Uh, like they're gonna shrink down, they're gonna lose all their moisture. It's gonna be awesome. All right, so I could zoom in the camera maybe. Let's do that. Let's see. About zooming in on the cutting board a bit more. That's just me. It's okay, I guess. What do you guys think? Decent? Alright, we're zoomed in a bit more so you can see the, the action. So we talked about this before, but when you're getting a knife, you want to make sure you know how to hold it. So I've got this kind of pinch here, right at the base of the handle. And that's like a balance point on the knife. And it just fits into my hand, it feels comfortable, uh, it just feels good. So if you can find that balance point where you're pinching with your thumb and forefinger, and then you're just curling, and then it's this nice, nice good feel. You gotta, you gotta get that feel going, okay. I'll just, uh, just start. I'm just going to start chopping mushrooms. Folks, if you have any questions, let me know. Otherwise, we're just going to go to it. We're just going to go to town here. We're going to chop mushrooms like a maniac, basically. Oh, right. We've talked about this before. I'm doing this thing I call the claw. 
so the way the knife it's going up against my fingernails and not my like skin you know so with the claw I'm not gonna cut my fingers <laughs> if that makes sense it's just like a safety technique so the knife it butts up against my nails not not the skin if I go too far but let me know what's up how you guys doing I'm just gonna be chopping mushrooms for like a week here so amuse yourselves Whoa, what? Loser freak, what are you doing? Get out of here. <laughs> yeah, no worries. <laughs> Took what, all of five minutes? You know, we're on the we're on the we're on the just chatting right now, folks. So this is this is crazy. We got we got some crazy stuff happening here. We're in the just chatting. It's like the wild west of Twitch. <laughs> Yeah, let's just not put our hand here, folks. Let's pay attention halfway. Uh, you'll notice I'm chopping these mushrooms in half. And I'm kind of getting them uniformly, like... I want it to be, you know, not thin. I want it to be have a little bit of meat to it, you know? A little bite. Yeah, you can chop it different different ways. Like you can keep the knife point on the cutting board, or you can, you know, do the choppy chop. I find I'm way more accurate with the knife point on the table. So if you keep your knife and just like get the motion down, that's what I like. Just goes quick. chat. We had a troll. Wands out of professional. <laughs> the way you cut? No way. Gordon Ramsay talking about the claw. Right! Okay, the claw, like seriously. Practice it, folks. Like, just just practice the claw, you know? You'll, you'll save your fingers. And two, a lot of people are nervous in the kitchen because of knife cutting. But if you um, get a good sharp knife, it does all the work for you, you know? Like, just check it out. I'm not even, I'm not even like, I'm letting the knife do the cutting, you know? It just it just does does the work for me. I don't have to force it, you know? So get a sharp knife and uh, you know, practice slow. You know, go slow, take your sweet time, and then when you get it down, you can like you can just sort of like throw the throw, throw the stuff under the knife and it just chops up automatic almost. But either way, just take your time, go at your own pace, have fun, laugh, cry, whatever you need to do. Oh, right, that's a good point. A lot of people talk about how when they're chopping onions, they're always getting tears. Well, what is happening when you're chopping an onion is uh, with a dull knife, you're basically just like spraying onion juice into the air. So if you have a sharp knife, uh, when you cut an onion, you won't be crying because you'll you'll not be sending like the onion juice up into the uh, up into the ether into your eyeballs <laughs> you think we have enough mushrooms no not even close still half the pack left uh chopping knives different from slicing knives like this is basically one kind of style of knife like you might get a knife like you know this is a this is a paring knife uh, what's it called this is a chef's knife it's like a different shape blade i don't know it's just all personal preference like some some blades are a bit longer um there's like a butcher's knife which is like easier you know there's all sorts of knives but find one that fits your hand right that feels good feels balanced that's what's important but i like this knife it's not too big um and it does everything i need in the kitchen i don't i don't need to go to the bigger knife for anything um 
this one this one's pretty much gonna do it all other than the small fine stuff that I want the paring knife for. What kind of mushrooms? These are um, basically they're porta portabella mushrooms, but small. Like they haven't they haven't grown to big portabellas. So they're called um, mini mini bella. But uh, you could use like oyster mushrooms for this. You could use white mushrooms, whatever you want. It's basically just um, just mushrooms. <laughs> whatever kind of mushrooms you got to work with, that will do. Look like closed cap, but maybe mini portos. Mini portos, yeah, you got it. You got it, Hawkeye. Mini bellas, they're called. So mini portobellas. Al Nuggets, good to see you, my friend. Welcome. We're doing the cooking stream today. Look at us go. We're chopping. We're chopping mushroom right now. We're taking our sweet time. We're trying not to cut ourselves. <laughs> yeah, if uh, if anyone has any real questions, we gotta t we gotta ask Chef Maria. Who has has the actual knowledge? <laughs> and if there's any any uh, other chefs or people who work in kitchens, feel free to chime in. It says no back seating, but that's more of a joke, honestly. <laughs> if you wanna if you wanna give me tips, I'm all for it. Yeah, I'm all for it. Let me know what's up. If I'm doing something wrong, I wanna hear about it. Cause I'm a noob. Only only thing, uh, only only places I've like learned how to cook was from fail and failures in the kitchen, trying myself and watching like YouTube. So, yes, yeah, someone mentioned Babish earlier. I was watching Babish like years ago, getting tips from Babish. Love that guy. Um, there's a few great newer people I found, like uh, the recipes here. If you do exclamation point cooking, Rainbow Plant Life, she's really awesome. A lot of my meals that I make are through her recipes. Graham. My cat's chilling. You're doing awesome. Thank you, Shed Maria. Babish, yeah, Babish is amazing. Um, it's really cool. He started his channel kind of just for fun, you know, recreating different recipes that are on TV shows and movies. And now it's like, he's got this huge organization going, all these different shows, it's really cool. Huge growth, good quality content. And like I said, lots of cool tips. Like I picked up some tips from, from Babs for sure. I wonder if I'm going to use this whole thing of mushrooms. It's a plan, honestly. Hey, high five. Nice one, Jack. You know what we should do? Hold on. What? You want to come say hi? cooking, so I'm not going to go pick up the cat. <laughs> hey, cheers. Nice one. Cheers. <laughs> Mushroom completion. Hey, DS, good to see you. All right, I got two more, two more shrooms. But honestly, folks, I might look like I know what I'm doing, but it's just because I tried. One day I was like, I'm going to try doing stuff in the kitchen. And then the slow and steady process got me to where I'm at. <laughs> it doesn't all happen overnight. You can't be, uh, uh, you got you to gotta make mistakes. You got to basically make mistakes and just um, figure it out as you go. Whoa, Mark Wars. Happy Valentine's Day, my friend. Oh, happy Valentine's Day, my friend. Thank you. Thank you. That's really sweet. Uh, thank you for the support. Seven months? What? Time flies. Thank you, Mark Wars. Throw some hype out there. Chopping technique on point. Thank you, Al Nuggets. Yeah. So check it out, folks. Look at that. Just like that. We've got a big old bowl of mushrooms. Oh, 
All right, I'm just going to quickly wash my hands. Playing TLD? No worries, Mark Wars, no worries. About to take the stream on a run. Nice, enjoy. Enjoy. 154? <laughs> I lost count. I hope you all have a wonderful Valentine's Day. Thank you. Yeah, we'll be here for a while, so hope to see you again. Um, we've also got some uh, Valentine's Day cards to share on stream, so folks, let me know when you're ready. Let me know when you want to see the cards start coming out. Um, okay. Okay, I need two bowls for this because I'm going to oil, salt, and pepper these. I more or less just want, I want a good bit of space so I can, you know, get that kind of thing going. Slash throw them all over the floor. Actually almost out and I use a lot of oil. Oh no. Oh no. Not like this. Oh we're okay. We got we got a backup. We got a backup bottle. If you were to ask me how much oil is going in here, I got no idea. How much S&P? No clue. A lot. A lot, a lot. Yeah, a little S&P olive oil. That's like the ticket, folks. That is the ticket. Just gonna get these tossed a bit. And more oil. And some more. Yeah, we're going nuts. We're no we're going crazy. But seriously, these will these will taste so good if you season them right. A little dry still. I really do want them like evenly coated. You can kind of tell when they're there. Like they don't have to be soaked in olive oil, but you want you want them coated evenly. Can you see this even? Problem is, is I have to like hold it towards me. Yeah. <laughs> Just a little bit more. I want to look at each individual piece of mushroom and see See that it's got a fine dusting of salt and pepper on it. Okay. All right, I'm just gonna wash my hands. Welcome in. Thank you for lurking. Let me catch up on chat here. I'm hardly reading it. Scott, Captain, Corn Dog, good to see ya. 
What we're making? Yeah, cookie dough bars. Maribel doesn't like the noises. Aw. You have that. <laughs> yeah, Kirkland represent. But I also have this. This is this is the real deal. Flake sea salt. Oh my god. That's when you know you've made it. When you got the flake sea salt in your kitchen cupboard, it's serious, serious business. Can we do this? Oh, we can try. Not this pen. This pen doesn't work so good for it. This one has has a nicer shape. This one not so much. Yeah, I'll just make a mess. All right, let's set these. Basically, these are just going to hang out and uh, start to get some moisture lost from them. Do cards while waiting on something? Do you want to go cook something? Do you have some cards soon? Okay, okay. Do you wield those pans? <laughs> okay, I don't think I can left hand it. It just doesn't feel like I can I can one hand, but I can't left hand. No way. I don't think so. I'm not even going to try it. <laughs> I'm sure it'll be fine. The only tip I would say is generally you want to see the bottom of the pan and find mushrooms. They leak a lot. Yeah, the only problem is I basically have no space. Like, I'd have to do another pan. So we can, like, kind of see the bottom of the pan if we if we move a layer of mushrooms. But these will cook for, like, 40 minutes. And then they'll all go into one pan, and you'll see the whole bottom. So let's just keep an eye on them, you know? Let them chill. Let me know if it's too noisy. Those toasting, yeah. Using uh, cast iron, ooh, yeah. It's heavy, but I I want to upgrade these. Like they're they're you know like the Teflon, and I think nowadays that's kind of frowned upon because the Teflon eventually just wears off and starts seeping into your food. But yeah, cast iron uh, is the way to go for sure. You add wine and cooking. Mushrooms? Yeah, that actually is really nice. This recipe is just salt and pepper, crisp them up. 40 minutes? <laughs> Alright, let's share, let's share a Valentine's Day card. Alright, I don't really know if this is going to work, but let's try it. So... Well, we have something. Alright, I don't even know. Is Espedistra here? Maybe we should save this one. Until Aspidistra shows up. <laughs> but we can read it here. I'll read this out. This is from Sarah, and this is lovely. Look at this image. It's gorgeous. Alright. I'm bringing the mic with me over to the computer. I might not know much of you Aspidistra hats, but I'm sure you're the cutest, like Wanza's rats. Wait, no. I mean cats. Well, only one. Grim. He's the cutest for real, but his owner needs a trim. Even though I, a total stranger, might not have much of a say, I truly do hope that you, Aspidistra Hats, have the nicest day. I hope someone's treating you to flowers and ice cream, and that it's happening in real life, not just in your daydream. Even though I'm writing you a nice poem, please don't be smitten. I don't have any time for romance. I'm making rabbit mittens. And for now, I gotta go. I'm playing the long dark. Just got stomped by a moose, and I need some birch bark. That's hilarious. That's awesome. Sarah, great job. And you know what? We'll read that one out again if uh, Aspidistra shows up. <laughs> nice one. That was awesome. Well done. Well done, Sarah. They're here, are they?
Let's see, that's why we wait, I guess. Um, I didn't really know which one I had queued up. I can do another one. Let's see here. One sec. All right, this one is for Chef Maria. All right, you ready, Maria? I think you're here. I loaf you so much. Dear Chef Maria, knock, knock, who's there? Master, master who? Master hurt when you fell from heaven. Your secret admirer. Master hurt. Must have hurt. Master hurt when you fell from heaven. Love your secret admirer. There you go, Maria. Isn't that sweet? Oh my god, this is so cute. <laughs> this is adorable. Oh my god, it's so cute. <laughs> you guys are adorable. That's, that's just very special. Thank you, everyone. <laughs> Alright, see, now these are starting to get a bit of moisture. You can see all that steam. Oh yeah, it's it's uh it's getting getting liquidy. This is good. They're gonna they're gonna start to shrink down a lot real soon. And Hawkeye's right, like honestly this is too much in the pan. But I'd have to go third pan. I'd have to go into a third pan. I got this apartment stove, you know? It's kind of uh kinda of lacking. Did I not grab my meat? What? <laughs> <laughs> oh god, owl nuggets. Yeah, isn't that lovely, Maria? You got a secret admirer. Ah, for GG. And again, thank you everyone who's uh, joined us. If anyone wants their card to save, just write to me on Discord. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you guys want uh, a copy of your card, let us know and we'll get you hooked up with that. Um, we can send you it digitally. Um, is Ruwak uh, and, and Violacious here? I feel like I should save this one for like a special time because this one's pretty legit. Why? <laughs> um, all right. Shall we? Yes. All right. Let's do it. This is this is pretty this is pretty legit. Hello. Well, I guess this will not be anonymous. What should we do with our PT violations? What should we do with our PT violations? What should we do with our PT violations? And laying the morning. Way, hey, hey, up your Way, hey, up your Way, hey, up your lights. 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 Put her in a bathroom till she's gorgeous. 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 Lay in the morning. Way, hey, up she rises. Way, hey, up she rises. Way, hey, up she rises. Way, up she rises. Lay in the morning. Serve her like in breakfast in a bed. Serve her like in breakfast in a bed. Serve her like in breakfast in a bed. Early in the morning. That's what we do with our pretty viola. That's what we do with our pretty viola. That's what we do with our pretty viola. Early in the morning. Rises away, hey, she rises away, hey, and 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 she rises that was great of you, my friend. You you knocked it out of the park, though. I I really like the uh, the round singing. That was really fun. Yeah, Violacious, love you. And um, 
Big thanks to Rock for that. That was awesome. That was really well done. <laughs> Very creative. Very creative. Good job, Rock. Good one. Yeah, it, I felt kind of guilty. I uh, I didn't hardly put any effort into what I did compared to some of these people <laughs> in the stream hanging out. Amazing. Okay, folks. Tofu time. Like uh, we were talking about earlier, I got the extra firm. I'm just gonna cut it in half and uh, get it like pressed here. This is basically just to like get some extra moisture out of the tofu. No violations, no, it's not not lame at all, honestly. Um, it's just impressive what some people have done here. It's really cool. Well, you should have it's a giant slab of butter. <laughs> Speaking of those mushrooms, how they looking? Dang, getting there. Uh, they're, they're shrinking up nicely. They are losing lots of moisture. Looking damn good, I may say. And yeah, someone said earlier, this is like enough food for five people, and it's legit gonna last me like a week. Uh, wait till you see the pad thai. Whenever I cook pad thai, I do monster batch. <laughs> and I fill the whole walk up. So yeah, I'm gonna be eating. I'm gonna be eating well this week. All right, I think we need to sit back and read some directions. Yeah, we gotta read some instructions here for a sec. Just show them love to the community. I know, I know. You're awesome, Rudolph. Thanks again, everyone who's participated in this. Uh, and again, big thanks to Yen for organizing it. They didn't have to do that. Uh, and it's their own free time they're using up. Very awesome. Thank you so much. Okay, so preheat oven done. Line baking sheets with uh, parchment paper. Okay. Drain tofu and press. We're doing that right now. Prepare the tofu. Once pressed, chop into small cubes, place tofu cubes in a medium or large bowl, add one tablespoon of oil, two tablespoons sesame oil, two tablespoons tamari, two pinch salt, toss combined, add arrowroot powder, panko, sesame. Snack time. Nice one. <laughs> um, spread the tofu on a single layer. This honestly, this tofu, it's so good. It's so good. Um, but the real winner of this whole recipe that we're doing now is the sauce, folks. Like, if you do one thing from today, do the sauce. So, almond butter, you heat it up, then you add, um, sriracha, black or white rice vinegar, Agave nectar, we use maple syrup here, because that's what we do in Canada. <laughs> Agave nectar is uh, something I used to get once in a while, but I don't know, I grew out of it. I grew out of the taste of it. Uh, so, tamari or soy sauce, sesame oil, ginger, garlic, lettuce, yeah. Anyways, the sauce is so good. When we get to the sauce, that's what you really want to... Hey, hey Masika, good to see you. Another cooking stream, yeah, I don't know what we're doing here. It's, uh... <laughs> it just happened. We kind of planned it on the last uh, cooking stream, so I would have it in the agenda. But great to see you. Thanks for sharing my secret last bits and Star Wars. Nice one. Yeah, folks, um, the secret's great. Go check them out. And uh, they play a lot of cool games. Some Phasmo, some uh, Tomb Raider, some Star Wars. Yeah, I played, uh, what was that game? Kotar. Knights of the Old Republic. That was like pretty much one of the best games ever made, I think, <laughs> back in the day. Yeah, we got mushrooms going right now. So I chopped up like a literal, this was full. This is full of mushrooms, mini portobellas. So we chopped up a huge, huge mass of mushrooms and now we are, we're basically shrinking them down and getting them, getting them dehydrated so they're like crispy, crispy treats. 
But yeah, there's too many mushrooms in the pan. Too many mushrooms in the pan. But you know what? It will work. It will work. You know, we're slowly starting to see the bottom of the pan a bit more. All right. So tofu press. Let's chop that up and get that organized. Because that takes a while too to cook. Thank you everyone for joining me today. I hope you're having a whole lovely day. Yeah, happy Valentine's Day. Are you sweating them out? Yeah. No, um, so here, there's a couple recipes we're doing. We're doing, uh, right now, they're just the wraps. They're like these Asian wraps. So inside the wrap, it's uh, mushroom tofu that's uh, baked in like a sesame panko batter. And then I combine that with cabbage and also, um, I got these vermicelli noodles, and uh, I put them in these rice wraps instead of lettuce wraps. But uh, also, we're doing cookies and pad thai. So pad thai is at the end, and pad thai is the easiest one. So we're gonna get the tough stuff out of the way. Yeah, this like seriously, these wraps are dynamite. Even if you only make the sauce, it will change your life. But if you like like a spicy Thai peanut sauce, stick around. You'll, you'll be uh, you'll be well rewarded, <laughs> but it's easy too. Like this one, this is a bit complicated because there's a lot of chopping, but it's worth it. Totally worth it. Are the mushrooms too loud? Like, let me know about the sound, folks. Cause I have no idea. No idea. All right, let's get this tofu processed a bit. So yeah, like this is soaked now. Um, so we've got all sorts of good moisture out of the tofu. I'm just trying to get it like even, even-ish. I'm actually going to dry them off a little bit more, just because why not? I'm just putting like a bit of a towel in here. I disconnected. No, we did uh, Ruwax, uh, Maria's, and uh, Aspidistra. So if Aspidistra shows up in chat today, let me know and we'll replay Sarah's card. Because uh, it just sort of, I had it queued up first, so I didn't even think about it. We'll be on PC in an hour. Should I wait for an hour to share more, or should we do another one? Should we share another card? Let's front load and then back load. <laughs> no, no. No, 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 no. No, 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 do them, do them. Okay, all right, you guys ready? Another card? Yeah? All right, let's go for it. If there's recipients present, mm. Okay, okay, I'll, uh, I'll check, check the deal. This one is for Ruach from Violacious. It says, Happy Valentine. Thank you for hanging out with me on my channel and keeping me company. Thank you for being my friend. Aw, that's so sweet. That's really nice, Violacious. And big thanks to Ruach again for being such a sweetheart.
That was really sweet. That was adorable. Thank you, uh, Violacious. That was lovely. I love the colors, too. Oh my goodness, look at this. Look at this. It's just, it's popping off here, folks. I guess I should hold it here so you can hear it sizzle. It's almost into the yellow with the audio, the sizzle audio. All right, let's figure out the, um, aha, uh -huh, violacious. You deserve it. You can hear the sizzle quite good. <laughs> All right, I can always move the camera this way a bit more. As the mic, I mean. Cheers, everyone, more coffee. So, uh, anyone cooking along today? <laughs> you, you don't have to be cooking this, you can be cooking anything. Uh, toast, pancakes, ramen, popcorn. <sighs> okay, let's get this, uh, we got the tofu cubed. It's dried, it's all like nicely uniform. So we gotta add a tablespoon of oil, two teaspoons of sesame, one tablespoon of tamari, two pinches of salt. Oh my goodness, it's complicated. Let's start at the beginning. One tablespoon of oil. What? 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 That's not clear enough for me. What kind of oil? I got like 18 oils. <laughs> Hold on. Grapeseed oil. Hmm. I don't know if I have grapeseed oil. <laughs> Shoot. Oh no, it's over, folks. I don't know what to do. Hold on. No, figure this out. I think olive oil should be fine, right? Olive oil. Yeah, why not olive oil? Yeah. I've got these uh, pretty nice little like measuring things. Whew. All right, we're going with olive oil because I love olive oil and we got it here in front of us, right? So we had olive oil and then we need two teaspoons of toasted sesame oil. Oh my goodness, we actually have that. This is like a specialty thing, you gotta find it. But it's nice. And it lasts a while. It's like, it's got a real potent scent to it, but it's, yeah, it's, it's solid. Two teaspoons of this stuff. Whoa, what's going on? Captain Picard, hello, hello. I get in us up to sky, Captain, their 40th to the channel. Holy smokes, Captain Picard, thank you so much. Throw some hype. Grapeseed oil, I only make wine from grapes. <laughs> Um, oh, I don't know if we use, like, canola oil? That's not grapeseed, I don't know. That makes sense. So welcome, everyone. And thank you, Captain Picard, that's awesome. Appreciate you, my friend. Thank you, thank you. Uh, okay, sesame tamari. What the heck is tamari? This. I think I have some in the fridge, hold on. See if we can make it work. Salt. And toss to combine. I screwed up my spatula, I had to cut the tip off. Sad, sad state of affairs. Let's just basically get this tossed. Evenly coated in the oil and the soy, tamari, whatever you want to call it. Okay, looking good, looking good. Okay, then add arrowroot powder panko. Gently toss. 
All right, all right, all right. I can handle that. So one tablespoon of arrowroot or cornstarch and one and a half tablespoons of panko. That's not enough. Let me just wash my hands. Oh yeah, these are starting to crisp up a little now. Just slightly, like they're still really, they need a lot longer, but they're just starting to get, get nice. We're committed now. You can start to see the bottom of the pan actually. <laughs> Slow and steady. Should we try to flex? Does that even show up on camera? I shouldn't do that. It's going to go everywhere, folks. It's going to go everywhere. But I'll tell you this. Um, oh, you know what? I'll save it. I'll save it for story time. Hey, it's Deja. Good to see you. Banana Hun, hello. Welcome in. Uh, let me catch up in chat. Me with Dean. What's change language? That's for long dark. So if I'm playing the long dark and someone wants to change the language, I'll like change it to Spanish or French. Oh, gosh. Story time. Hey, kind Al. Nice one. Uh, okay, when uh, I was growing up, I I kind of didn't really do much cooking, but stuff like uh, you know reheated hot dogs. Sometimes I'd boil water and put hot dogs in it. Um, like I had to cook quite a few dinners by myself because my mom would work uh, shift work, right? So she wasn't home for dinner all the time, and you know it'd be like beans. I'd do beans on toast with cut-up hot dogs, oh, that was my favorite, um, or just straight-up hot dogs, or crap dinner, stuff like that, you know? But then when I, f like, the first thing I ever, I ever started cooking, like, was hash browns. Hash browns was, like, the first, like, thing I cooked, you know? Like, an actual, where you chop, chop stuff up, put it in a pan, add spices. So I make hash browns, and then, it started a long, long time ago, but basically, They've evolved for 20 years as I've cooked them. But when I first started, what I do is I basically just chop, chop potatoes up and then add like salt, pepper, garlic, paprika, cayenne, um, and then like douse it in ketchup. Whoa, kind or Cindy, thank you for the kind cheer. I really appreciate that. Oh, and thanks for showing that stage. I'm last playing some Rim World. Thank you for the cheer. Thank you. Thank you. So when I started cooking hash browns, it was like, it was like the first thing that I felt like I was like cooking, you know? And uh, when I was younger, my dad worked in a restaurant. And uh, I think I told this before on stream, but I used to go after school to the restaurant my dad worked at. And I'd hang out and I'd sit in the kitchen and I'd basically watch, watch him cook. You know, he was just, uh, it was like a smaller restaurant, middle of the day, so one person in the kitchen kind of kind of restaurant but cindy good to see you welcome in cheers we're just uh we're just taking a breather doing story time so i had memories of my dad cooking and i remember thinking it amazing when you grab the pan and you know do one of those i just thought it was the coolest thing in the world so you better believe when i started cooking hash browns <laughs> that's what i was doing i was starting and I needed to learn the pan toss. So every time I cooked hash browns, I'd make the biggest mess in the kitchen. Not only would I be spraying grease everywhere, but I'd be getting um, hash browns in the elements, you know, like underneath, and then not cleaning it up. And my mom would be like, Wands, don't, don't toss, just use the spatula, don't toss, like, don't have it learned. <laughs> <laughs> it's making a mess. I'm not cleaning up after you. But yeah, I figured it out, folks. And it's from the hash browns. Um, but yeah, just watching my dad growing up do that once or twice, it was enough for me to think that's something I need to need to figure out. And I use it all the time now, and I, I don't make a mess. You know, Mom, if you're watching, you'd be proud of me. My kitchen, hardly, hardly a sign of a mist. You know, there's no, there's no misses. It's been perfect, perfect execution. So yeah, that's something that uh, I learned steadily over 20 years of cooking was the pan, 
thoughts, you know, that, that motion. I love it. And it, it make, it's like such a flex, it's so unnecessary, but I do it all the time in my kitchen when I'm cooking. I just love it. It's like fun. It's like, it's like a kitchen, kitchen activity to have, have a bit of fun with. Just, just when you're doing it, make sure you clean up after yourself and uh, your moms will be happy that you didn't make a mess in their kitchen. <laughs> but thank you for the story time, kind of. And yes, story time is back, folks. You always flip everything. Isn't it feel good, Maria? It feels so good. Like, yeah, sure, you might make a mess like once in a while, yeah? But it feels so good. It feels so good to flip. Once you get the... When you get bolder and you start getting some air time on the food. Like, I can't really do it with the mushrooms because they're just so soggy right now. But yeah, once, uh, once I get a potato in the pan and it's crispy, it's going, it's going for some air time. <laughs> All right, let's get back to the tofu. But thank you again, Kandao. I really do appreciate that. And yes, folks, story time is back. So be sure to, uh, be sure to save those points. <laughs> All right, so we need the arrowroot powder or cornstarch. We have arrowroot. This is kind of swanky, but you see I have all these all these random flowers because of the food for baking. So I have like all sorts of random mysterious powders. I already forgot. One tablespoon. Okay, I just need to wash this quick, BRB. Mushrooms are done. No, not yet. Um, they're getting close though, but I actually like them like crispy. Like normally, so normally what I do is I bake these in the oven, but I have to do it in phases. So I'll bake the mushrooms, and then I'll bake the tofu. But yeah, I'm just I'm just stoked off in it. Um, but yeah, I really I like them like crispy. So I want them to almost be like bacon bits. And um, this is good though. Like if you like your cut your mushrooms with a bit of uh, chew. This is fine. Like they're good, but like these ones here, they're still pretty wet. So I'm just going to dehydrate them some more, shrink them up, and you'll see. Like I want to be able to crunch into the mushroom. That's the idea. All right. Before I forget, text one. One tablespoon of arrowroot. Cornstarch will work. I'm gonna do a bit more. All right, then it called for like a very small amount of panko. One and a half tablespoons. Way. <clears throat> this is where you use your own measuring. All right, a little bit more than one and a half tablespoons, but I like the panko, it's awesome. And yeah, we've got the gluten-free, gluten-free panko ovs. Then I'm just going to add uh, some sesame seeds. There we go. So everything's nicely coated, even. I'm just going to go and uh, prep the pans for this. Chat like crazy. The cornstarch is basically like 
um, it will make a bit of a crispy coating around the tofu. So it's got like a, a batter almost. It's like a light batter. Must be why I don't bake. Give you one, some of these, especially I tend to move the pan and not the spatula. <laughs> yeah, I hear ya. My pleasure. Helga, no worries. Mom is proud? Aw, of course. What do the new redeems do? Troll Maria is, um, if we're playing the long dark, you can make me um, drop an item from my inventory permanently. So uh, I'll take um, the backpack and add a number to each slot. So like from the top corner will be one to five and down. And then I'll go to a random number generator and do a pick a, pick a number. And then we'll drop whatever that inventory slot is. Or if it's like my arrows, we'll drop half of them. Just know that the stream has a hard mode. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no joke, this is hard mode, folks. We're doing hard mode cooking. Now these I do want nicely spaced out. You want like um, a buffer in between each of them. So I'm going to do two, two runs. So this is our panko slash tofu sesame conglomerate. But again, this is dynamite stuff, folks. This is this is tasty. If you think tofu is garbage, then you need to you need to give this a shot. You gotta do yourself a favor. <laughs> I had this friend once who wouldn't eat tofu because he he claimed it would. Um, what what did, what was what did he say? It was something like. Like tofu had estrogen in it, so it would make him like a woman. And I was like, buddy, what the hell are you talking about? It was like some weird propaganda against tofu. Tofu's awesome. Don't hate on tofu. Needless to say, we aren't friends anymore. <laughs> All right. Now let's actually look at the, the recipe and make sure we know how long this needs to be in the oven for. Twenty-five to thirty minutes, tossing halfway through. So we'll set this for fifteen, and then we'll toss those halfway through. Let's check our mushroom situation. These are getting—they're getting crispy, folks. Like, look at that. That's starting to be what I want to see. You know, a little, a little bit of moisture still. But we're basically frying them in our own juices now. You hear that sizzle? We tried tofu once 15 years ago. <laughs> I didn't like it never again. <laughs> there you go. You remind me to find it worth some panko. Yeah, so like I used to do my own batters, but the panko is just like a cheat mode, you know? Because you get you get like a real crunchy kind of batter easily. Whereas like if you use like breadcrumbs or a flour base, it's a batter, but it's not got that potent crunch, you know? It looks delish, thanks Thunder. Hey, and Thunder, thanks again for playing last night. I hope I didn't troll you too hard. Thunder uh, played some Phasmo and it was their first time. <laughs> I might have closed the door on them during the hunt. 
But they, they survived. No deaths, I'm pretty sure. Or maybe only one death. I know this is off topic, but are there any simple tools at the maintenance shed? Um, simple tools? I don't know if I found them there before. Does anyone know about broken railroad tools? I don't think I've seen them. I didn't die, you didn't. I died, though. Yeah, well, yeah, and, uh, we, were, we were like, we were, we, were, we were BFFs, we were, we were doing really good. We just conquered the ghosts and we were leaving. And I did the, I did the like, close the front door on them. <laughs> Stacia, thank you for the cheer. Uh, no worries, thank you for hanging out and appreciate the cheer. Thank you so much. Have a great day. Thanks for sharing Stasia, Last Man's in Room World. Yeah, so basically... <laughs> well, that was another time. Uh, so I closed the door, and Buddy hadn't really figured out how to open doors yet. Uh, and then the hunt started, but they managed to hide. The Tonic Thunder did fine. And then I died, uh, I took one for the team, because I felt bad. I went, I went to the ghost and sacrificed myself. And when I truly are the bad guy, well, I basically had to learn from someone. Have a great day, Stasia. Thank you, everyone. And again, thanks everyone for hanging out. We're just cooking here. It's a little, a little different of the stream, but these are starting to get to the point where I'm really happy with them. But I want them, I want them crispier, crispier. Almost like little, little bits of bacon, mushroom form. Alright, what else is going on? I guess we could cook these rice noodles. Uh, I hope it doesn't start smoking on me. <laughs> You found some cooling tools? Nice, Alan. GG. Uh, so we've got like vermicelli here. I'm not a big fan of this, but I'll put it in the anyways because it's kind of nice. Five cups of water, cook for three minutes. Yeah, we can handle that. Some chat here. Let's catch up. What is that noise? It's so loud. What? Does it still going? What's happening? I don't hear anything. Um, I was thumping around a bit. <laughs> is it still going? God, how? Okay, sorry about that. Sorry about that, folks. Okay. All 
All right, let's think about just uh, doing these three minutes and then we'll get them and drain them. All right, cheers everyone. How's it going? Oh, your kettle. Yeah, yeah, yeah kettle. Uh, vermicelli is, um, it's basically like a very thin rice noodle. Yeah, rice noodles. I did the Canadian thing. Yeah, my kettle was noisy. Sorry, I didn't even think of that. I'll mute my mic next time. All right, let's, uh, let's get the sauce happening. Vermicelli? Isn't that what I said? What did I say? <laughs> Vermicelli, that's what we've got. Alright, alright. One more minute, and then we'll move that off before we move on to anything else. Yeah, you can see it's like very fine, very fine rice noodles. Yeah, and here's a tip, if you're running uh, hot water into the sink, always turn the cold tap on. Are you a miso soup fan? Yeah, I love miso soup. I used to have a Korean friend, and whenever I went to his place, his mom would make like kimchi and miso soup from scratch. It was so good. Hey, Shala Dev, good to see you. Welcome. How are you doing? All right, let's strain this. I'm just going to strain this in the sink. You know what, I'm actually going to use uh, this for my sauce. Okay, so let's see, we're making the sauce now. Just stir these. Kind of, we're done cooking, like these are good now, they're crispy. They're not overcooked and burnt, but they're definitely more crispy than tender, which is how I like it. So, okay, uh, almond butter, okay, okay, a little complicated. All right, I got it here. I already got everything out. Look at that. I'm sponsored by Kirkland, apparently. Not. <laughs> Hey, Valley V, good to see ya. Happy Valentine's Day. So the fried shrimps will add color and flavor. Oh yeah, yeah, they're good. Okay, we need four tablespoons. What? That's gotta be like a quarter cup, right? Four tablespoons? What the heck does that even mean? Oh, math? I know we're going to do five, I think. There we go. I do have this thing. It's like a spatula, but a mini one. Oh, look at that. Oh, 
Go clean that gun. Oh man, that's the winner. It's the winner, winner, chicken dinner. All right, four, one and a half, or one half to one and a half tablespoons. Holy smokes, of sriracha. Okay, okay. I'm sure a lot of you here know about this sriracha sauce. Got some decent sleeve and even stream. Nice, Violacious. Yeah, folks, again, Violacious is another new streamer, friend of the community. Um, I was lurking Violacious watching you play some of that uh, cat game. It looks pretty fun. It looks pretty cool. All right, what does it say? Half a tablespoon to one and a half. So I guess depending on how hot you like it. Hey, Kandel, thank you so much. Last thing, Cat Quest. So go check out Violacious, folks. Drop a follow. Too hot? Yeah, if you don't like it, just don't add it. Um, this is a spicy peanut sauce, so this is what causes the spicy. So you don't have to add it if you don't want. Uh, all right, now we have this rice. Good to see a cooking skill five. Not quite. I think I'm about a three and a half, maybe a four tops. Definitely not five. Uh, yeah. I might be stretching if I say even three and a half. <laughs> hey, thanks for lurking, Helga. All right, we'll see you later. Use sriracha and Franks. Yeah, Franks are hot sauce. Nice one. It's the best sauce, so you guys do know about the sauce, obviously. Okay, where are we at? Oh, right, uh, the rice rind. One tablespoon. Oh, right, maple syrup. Okay, I just gotta flip this first. One second. Oh, oh, oh look at these. Look at thems. Oh yeah, oh this is it. This is the stuff, folks. I'm carefully, individually flipping each and every single one like it is the most precious, precious task. You don't want one to get double cooked on one side, you know? This is my technique. I just uh, hit a corner with a spatula and it flips them pretty good. So you could like use chopsticks, you could use tongs, uh, you can use your fingers if you don't mind getting burnt, but don't do that. Don't get burnt. Kidding. This was on the bottom rack, so now I'm flipping this one to the top rack because it's the hotter element. Like everyone will know your own oven, but my oven sucks. Like basically, uh, it's kind of a chore to get even temps if you're cooking multiple things. But I don't mind these crispy. Don't mind at all. Welcome. Panko works wonders. Yeah, they're good. Yeah, Crispy. Hey, Gallifrey. You've been watching and eating pizza? Nice one. Looks like tater tots, pretty much. Hey, uh, let's do another... Um, oh, nice, Violacious. I'll check it out. Let's do another card. Uh, again, if anyone sees Aspidistra in chats, Aspidistra, let me know. 
Um, do, do, do. All right, this one is for Jen, X gaming girl from Helga. Sending you lots of love and warmest hugs. Happy Valentine's Day. Sending you love and hugs to you for Valentine's. Always remember, you are awesome. Aw, that's lovely. Nice one. Thank you so much. You didn't have to sign it. Um, no worries. It's you can be anonymous. You can be anonymous. But yeah, that's so sweet. And uh, thank you, Helga. I think Helga stepped out. But big thanks to Helga and nice one. It's so sweet. I'm having a lot of fun with this. What a great idea. I can't take the credit. Can't take the credit. But yeah, great idea. And maybe uh, maybe something to do again. All right, I'm turning. I'm turning the mushrooms like right down to nothing almost. All right, let's get back to the sauce. So we need our, oh man, this is so complicated. <laughs> Add the marine ingredients except for the water, then steam, stream in the water and whisk. Okay, okay, okay. So we need syrup. Holy smokes, this is complicated. Hey, throwback, throwback to Winter's Embrace. Y'all remember? Wands and the syrup. <laughs> oh god. So how much do we need? One tablespoon. Again, you could just eyeball all this, but we're, we're trying to use the measuring equipment as we have it. Half a tablespoon of tamari or soy. Okay, I gotta open a new one of these. We killed the last bottle off. I think as we just looking, because I see their name. Yeah, I know Yen. Uh, well, Espedistra, if you're around, Espedistra, if you're around, let us know. There is a card for you. Half a tablespoon. One tablespoon of tapped sesame. Oh my goodness. We're bringing out this toasted sesame again. Okay. Oh, we got some more chopping to do. Okay, let me just chop my hands up. I mean, wash my hands up. Love toasted sesame. Yeah, it does. It's like uh, something that I just discovered, but um, the smell is awesome. Like it really adds a nice element. It's kind of like, uh, I think I also have, let's see if I can find it. Maybe not, but like liquid smoke. If you can add liquid smoke to something, it makes it really good. Okay. Okay, we need garlic and ginger. So let's get some ginger. I'm going to take the time with the ginger and uh, grate it 
or what you know, you know what I mean. Get the uh, stuff off, and you can use the the pointy part to get into the nooks and crannies of the ginger. That's what it's for, believe it or not. <laughs> <laughs> or according to me, it works really well for that. So you can like, you don't have to chop the ginger, you can just sort of grade what you need. Alrighty. Oh, here's another tip that I kind of forgot. somewhere in the kitchen for scraps so that way you can just kind of take all the scraps put it in one spot and then when your scraps bucket fills up you can compost it I can't use a grater why not you like cut your fingers my hot dogs initially nice good stuff okay I'm just gonna quickly chop chop this I want it to be like super fine, you know, you don't want a big giant chuck, chunk of ginger. That's what you uh, kind of decide when you're done. You know, it's pretty, pretty minced. But again, I like it fine. Okay. Now the garlic. Uh, if you have a full clove, it's kind of hard to break it up, just put it on the countertop and push down easy mode. We just cracked all the all the garlic apart basically. Calls for three cloves, so obviously we're gonna do four. I'm just cleaning up as I go here. Uh, so with garlic, what I usually do is I cut the root off and then I smack it and you'll see that the peel separates from the clove perfectly. So you don't have to like worry about, you know, fussing with the peel. Sometimes it can be hard to get off. So just a good smack and then it separates perfectly from that peel. You don't have to get all garlicky. Well, we're getting garlicky, but it's not as bad. It's a mess in here. Yeah, so we talked about this earlier. Basically, with the knife, you wanna you wanna find the, the balance. Like this is where I hold it here on the on the very front part of the blade. And then I have that perfect balance and I my hands, my fingers just basically wrap. 
Yeah, that's good stuff. Uh, I took this from my mom's house when I moved out. It's my favorite kitchen tool. It's just this bulletproof garlic press. And this is a tip, you never, ever, ever, ever put the metal knife on the metal, okay? You can use the back side of the knife, the back side of the knife to scrape it. Never, ever, ever use the sharp part because you'll dull it. You'll dull the crap out of it and then your knife won't, won't ever be the same. Hey, hey, Fenris, good to see you, welcome. Why are you only adding half the garlic needed? <laughs> I added twice the garlic needed. <laughs> the knife is pretty heavy. You can let the weight of the knife do the work. Yeah, exactly. But welcome in Fenris. Hello, hello. You took one like that from your mom? Yeah, it was just too good to leave. Too good to leave behind. Okay, we got the... Uh, okay, so let's get this on some heat and uh, start stirring it a little bit. So what we're doing is we're getting all these base ingredients mixed, bit of heat, and then we're going to add in water slowly until it's like the sauce consistency we want. All right, it calls for two tablespoons of water, so not that big a deal. the whisk out. But yeah, how's everyone doing? What's going on? Welcome in folks if you're new to the channel. Um, this isn't what we normally do, but we're giving it a shot here. We do this cooking stuff once in a while. It's a bit of fun. But thanks for joining me folks. Let's drink some coffee. Uh, we're gonna have to basically I'll finish this and then we're gonna do a cleanup. <laughs> I reduced a small pot of strawberries. What? Oh, that sounds so good. Yeah, a friend of mine did that once because he had his garden. It went crazy with strawberries and uh, he made the strawberry sauce, which I think it's the same thing you're talking about. And I had it and I was putting it on like ice cream. Oh my God, it was so good. Hey, Mark Horace, 154 in the books. Nice. Uh, let's do another, let's do another uh, v, v card here, V day card. Now that Mark, Mark Wars is here, <laughs> I think I got one. Mark Wars, you rock. Hugs from Ivy. It's Mr. Spock from the Star Treks. Because <laughs> it rocks, yeah. That's funny. <laughs> there you go, Mark Wars. Happy Valentine's Day. You rock. Mark Wars, you rock, my friend. You rock. And everyone, throw some hype in the chat for Mark Wars, who has done 154 days in a row of running. Absolute, absolutely determined, amazing work. Running IRL, yeah, two tanks. IRL running, isn't that crazy? Oh man, these are like crispy. Like you could bite into them. They're so crispy right now. Oof, okay, we'll leave that. We'll leave it. Uh, let's get the water here happening. It says like to whisk well drizzling. So let's, uh, let's do what they say. We're slowly incorporating the water.
All right, so this is this spicy peanut sauce that I've been raving about. This is literally my favorite sauce ever, ever, ever. I'm even, I'm even counting the honey mustard in that. Thanks for the run. I burnt like 10 calories. Nice. You, you burnt some calories uh, by osmosis. Rock like Spock. Ting song buns. Nice, Fenris. Oh, I'm so sorry, Cindy. I'm so sorry to hear that. Hugs, Cindy. Hugs to you. In San Diego. Whoa, Mark Wars, get them a sub to two tanks. They're 100 in second. Sub to the channel. Holy smokes. Thank you, Mark Wars. That's super generous of you. Thank you, thank you, my friend. And congratulations, two tanks. Ooh, I'm getting warm. Holy smokes. I'm going to have to open the window. But thank you again, Mark Wars. And uh, folks, give uh, give Cindy a hug and chat. Cindy, we're all sending you our love here. All right. I like the sounds. <laughs> oh my goodness, this thing, this is looking good. I'm gonna sample it now, okay? I'm gonna sample it. Oh yeah, that's ready. Yeah, that's good. We can let that, we can let that hang out. Thank you, everyone. Hey, Moz, good to see you, Moz. Welcome in. Yeah, hugs to you, Cindy. Yeah, we love you, Cindy. Big hugs. Wands, can you guys feel warmth? We're dying. Well, I'm okay. It's cold. There's snow outside, but I've got I've got like a big oven that's on 420, and I've got four elements on the stove on. Okay. By the way, we actually forgot about <laughs> we forgot about this stuff in here. Oops. All right, I'm gonna mute this. All right, look at this, holy smokes. I gotta try it. Mm. Oh my God, so good. That's a winner. <laughs> it's crunchy, folks. Yeah, it's crunchy. Hey, Gralfy, good to see you again. We got a heist going, folks. Get in on it. Heist it up, folks. You know you wants to. That action. I was at Coastal Fishing Hut, chilling. Look down the lake, see the bear. I'm like, I'm fine. A couple of minutes later, I take a peek out the hut and see it coming towards me. Really silly, but close enough that I had to run away. Um, that action, if you're inside the fishing hut, like all the way inside, you should be fine from the bears. 
It's a little scary, but you should be fine. Whew, okay, folks. Um, I gotta chop some cabbage. So, bear with me, I'm gonna get some cabbage going. Trick with the cabbage is you discard the, the outside layer first, but we're going to cut the core out. So all I'm going to do is cut this in half, and then boom, that's gone, and all that's left is cabbage. So that goes in the um, scraps bowl, and then... I don't know if anyone else has these, but they're called uh, a bigo. It's basically cloth. It's cloth dipped in like a beeswax pine tar or some combo. Uh, but it's like an alternative to saran wrap. And it's self-adhering. You can wash it. And it literally will, will stay uh, and keep the food way, way longer. It's awesome. Um, my mom actually made some for Christmas this year out of her own creation. It's pretty cool. All right, I'm just gonna remove the outside layer of this thing. And the inside here, that was against the plastic. All right. Find the, find the side that's, you know, balanced. Basically, I need to clean up now for the next step. We got I gotta have a lot, lot of room on the counter. What kind of music do people listen to? I don't really get into music too much anymore, but um, back in the day it was metal, metal for me. Hey, Stella, good to see ya. Yeah, if you're hungry, be, be warned. We got some treats cooking up. You listen to the music of one's soothing voice accompanied by chopping and sizzling. Salt and pepper, a little butter, yeah. It's amazing how far uh, the basics will take you. All right, let's just get, uh, bear with me, I'm gonna do some cleanup. Uh, here, how about we watch uh, this again? Because it was so beautiful. Sorry, Ruak, we're gonna, we're gonna show you off again. And then I'm gonna do some Prague Death Black Melodic, depends on the mood, nice, Tess. All right, let's uh, watch this one more time and I'm gonna do some Chorin. Hello. Well, I guess this will not be anonymous. What should we do with pretty violations? What should we do with pretty violations? What should we do with pretty violations? Are lay in the morning. Way, hey, hey, up she lies. Way, hey, up she lies. Way, hey, up she lies. Are lay in the morning. Tickle her belly with a feather. Tickle her belly with a feather. Tickle her belly with a feather. Are lay in the morning. Way, hey, up she lies. Way. 
All right, I'm back, but I'm still doing some dishes, so bear with me. Hey, he thinks you're showing that rock. Love the hat change, I know. The shanties, you're obsessed too. Nice one, Tess. Yeah, great job, Ruak, and again, thank you for that. No, Ruak, no, you're the opposite of cringe. You haven't even seen the Wheel of Cringe yet. <laughs> All right, bear with me, folks. I'm just going to do some dishes because this, I can't, like, it's too much right now. There's too much going on. I need to, like, clean my space. And that's a big part of cooking is when you get a moment, prep prep work or cleaning that's what you're doing my tummy's starting to grumble too Sec, folks, I just gotta get some cleaning done <laughs> to move on to the next phase. everyone up to? How's it going? Your kitchen teacher said cooking is 30, cleaning. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, you gotta, you gotta clean. Like, I learned that at McDonald's, you know. If you have a moment, clean. Um, you don't want to, like, you know, right now this cutting board, I gotta clean it, start fresh. It's like, it's got cabbage juice all over it, you know? You can't just carry on from that. You gotta take a minute, pause, reset. You know, take a breather, do some choring. You had a you have a good constructor, Maria? That's awesome. I'm I'd love to hear that. You heard your teacher had a two foot beard and his name was Wolfgang? What? He was four feet tall? That sounds like a character right there. Nice one.
the tearing knives. That's my compost. This has turned into just a doing dishes washing upstream. Still around, it's like 80, nice. You took your training in the 80s, just made my own bread for four months straight. I just felt like they're gonna fall off. Oh, haha. Almost there, folks. Almost there. Just doing a quick cleaning. Alright, we're ready. So let's go over this so we don't forget. We've got these wraps here. So we're gonna cook these. We've got the mushrooms. We've got the vermicelli noodles. We've got cabbage. We've got the star of the show, the uh, sesame crusted tofu. And then we got the sauce. So let's get it. Let's get it going. So for the um, rice, we're just going to fill this with hot water. Alright, let's get started. I'm gonna get two plates out. One for construction purposes and one for finishing. Alright, so nice clean space, at least from here on, that's all I need. So these sheets here, you gotta be kinda quick with it. So once you start, you're you're into it. Oh, and I forgot. You gotta, you gotta like damp them off first <laughs> before you add them. So I'm just gonna grab more paper towels. Here, be.
All right. Hey, Oscar, good to see you. Welcome. Ready to blend. Just popped in to see. It looks marvelous. A nice one. Good to see you. Cindy Salvi, yep. Yeah. <laughs> Cook some crispy chip in. Oh, nice, Maria. Well, apologies, but enjoy. This kitchen is exactly like yours. You made sweet potato fries, banana chocolate chan pancakes, and salad. What? Nice, Sarah. Good job. Good job. Glad to hear it. You're playing WoW. Nice one. Yeah, Oscar, I heard you got a cool new computer. So congrats. Tofu looks incredible. Yeah, the tofu, definitely. Like I said, like, if you've never had decent tofu, you gotta try it. Like, here, hold on. Listen to this. Listen to this. It's crunchy. Mmm, so good. Okay, I forgot. So the problem with these wraps is you have to like dry them off. That's why they kind of come out a little soggy sometimes. A little awkward. A lot, a lot a bit awkward. So I'm starting with some vermicelli. Then I'm getting some cabbage. Then I'm going to sauce a bit. Then we're going to do some mushrooms. Lots of mushrooms, because why not? Then uh, the tofu. And a little bit more sauce, why not? First one's kind of a rip, but uh, that happens. <laughs> Let's try again. Yeah, if the rice paper tears, it kind of makes it junky. So that's why I like having these in bowls, but you can try it in the um, rice paper if you want, or lettuce works. Make us hungry, I know. Welcome back, hun Helga, good to see ya. Yeah, we all love Cindy, Oscar. <laughs> you gotta keep her, I think you know it though. All right, take two. I don't know how well you can see what I'm doing here, but this rice paper is a little tricky to work with, so you gotta be patient with it. So that one's a bit better. That's kind of gives you an idea of what we're dealing with here. It's like a rice noodle or rice paper wrap. Rice paper wrap. But again, you can put this in a bowl, you can put it in lettuce wraps, you can put it in a burrito, a taco, whatever the heck you want. Yeah, it's pretty pretty tasty. Happy Valentine's Day everyone. All right. We're just letting these rice papers cook. How's everyone doing? What's going on? The rice paper is being difficult to work with. Try dipping it for two seconds. Yeah, um, I'm getting it, I, I soak it, and then I sort of test it, and if it's too firm, I get it I get it dipped again. 
Happy Valentine's Day, everyone. Cheers. Almost time for a second coffee. So yeah, basically I've got like this awkward setup here with this thing, but if you work with it, it will work for you. So yeah, you've got the cabbage for a bit of crunch. Um, you've got the spicy peanut sauce. You got the mushrooms. You got the tofu. It's quite, quite dynamite, honestly. Again, these are a little complicated, but once you kind of do a few of them, you'll get the hang of it. you get the hang of it quick. I'm just gonna wash my hands. You just FaceTime your parents? Nice, dude, thanks. It's nice of you. Oh, you're taking some stuff to storage and it's snowed in? Oh no. Is the sauce hot? Um, Sky Captain. It had a, a tablespoon of sriracha. So if you know sriracha, it's basically like pretty mild hot sauce, but you could add as much as you want. Like it calls for half a tablespoon or a tablespoon and a half. You could add more, you could add chilies in too after. All right, I'm gonna eat one of these. <laughs> I'm gonna eat the one that's trashy. All right, cheers everyone. Hmm. It's good. Yeah, that's the fun thing about cooking, is when you screw up, it just means you get a little treat. That was good. That hit the spot, folks. Let me know if I need to zoom in on this, because I don't think you guys can even see what I'm doing here. I feel like I should have background music playing. You would love a zoom in? Okay, okay. Zoom. Enhance. Enhance. Ah, I'm in the way. So again, got this uh, rice paper. I try to lay it down so it takes up most of the plate. 
then we're doing vermicelli. Then um, a bit of sauce. Some uh, cabbage. Some mushroom. And some tofu. Maybe more sauce. The sauce is, is the star. I don't know. The tofu is good, but the sauce is actually what it's all about. So I'm taking the sides and kind of folding them in. And if you stick it to each other, it will hold. So you kind of just have to roll it in on itself like that. Doesn't look pretty, but damn, does it taste good, folks. I got two more rice papers, so I'm gonna do that, and this will be my snack for the day, and then uh, I'll have bowls tomorrow with this. Hey, corn dog, good to see you. Karate? I don't know about that. Hey, Maggie, hello, hello. Hey, D-Rock, welcome. Heist in the snacks. Thank you, Captain Marquars. New PC is a beast. I'm glad I didn't go with the water cooled. Yeah, water cooling, I think it's just um, more if you want to like overclock, Oscar. So if you're like trying to take your computer and like go above the recommended use. <laughs> but don't worry about water cooling unless you're going crazy with it. Yeah, that looks so good. Yeah, honestly, folks, this recipe, like, you saw me go through it. Um, it's kind of... It seems like a lot. It seems like a lot's going on here, but it's not that bad. You got the mushrooms. You can do those in the oven if you want. Uh, the tofu. It's like each component is its own little thing. And if you, if you split it up into the different parts, it's not that daunting. Hey, folks, if I can do it, you can do it, too. So again, take you through this the best I can. Got the vermicelli. Got some cabbage. Got the mushroom. A little bit more mushroom. Got some tofu. More sauce. Yeah, and don't be shy with the sauce. Like you wanna you want a bit of sauce in every bite. So I'm putting like a tablespoon in each one. Alright, now again just wrapping it in on itself there, half and half, and then rolling it over. It doesn't have to be pretty. It looks like a I don't know, what would you call this? It looks like a wrap, I guess. <laughs> I don't know. It's a wrap. Asian wrap. Let's just let's just call it that. Uh, what is panko? It's basically like a advanced bread cup. So it's got kind of like a it makes a texture like it's battered. Hey, welcome back, Yen. Are you on your PC now? Very cool. Hey, subtle. Welcome in subtle. Spring roll. Uh, I don't know. It's not got the crispy crust, you know? Gluten-free is good, too. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's a wrap. That's a wrap, folks. No, I'm just kidding. We're not done yet. Stick around. We're only getting started. We've done one of three recipes. All right, this is the last uh, last one I'm gonna make, and then the rest of the stuff I'll save for bowls. And like I said, with a bowl, what I'll do is I'll get I'll get like this bowl here. Okay, this is bowls. I'll add lettuce or kale or spinach at the bottom, 
then I'll put rice on top, and then I'll just dump the cabbage, the mushrooms, the tofu, and the rest of the sauce. And then I just like mix it up and it's so good. It's so good, folks. It's just like putting all the good things in one spot. <laughs> Can't go wrong. All right, let's show these off. All right, beauty. All right, unfortunately now I'm just gonna do some more cleanup, <laughs> so bear with me. Doesn't matter to me if it's vegan. You're omnivorous, yeah. Hey, Jasmine, good to see you, Jasmine. Welcome, welcome. Uh, subtle, this one is plant-based, yeah. So, mushroom, tofu, cabbage, rice noodles. Yeah, it's gluten-free too. But this is, the, this is the main thing here. This is a sesame-encrusted panko battered tofu. Crispy, crispy baked. All right. Bear with me, I just have to wrap this up. Just a few dishes. Yeah, so it's just a washing upstream, basically. everyone doing hey subtle thank you actually I didn't have a water yet let's get uh, let's get some water nice one cheers <sighs> all right let me zoom back out I think Grim needs a... What? <laughs> hydrate. Okay, hold on. I'm missing hydrates. Cheers. Hey, Adri. Good to see you. Welcome. Yeah, it's hot in here. We're from the... Speaking from the star system, Vega. Nice little kitchen. 
Yeah. Hey, Dr. Buckethead, good to see ya. Crispy, got it. Adam Mobin, hello. I didn't see you hop in. Welcome in, folks. Yeah, sorry if I'm missing chat. Need a TLD mug? Yeah, cheers, everyone. All right, I'm going to BRB just one minute, uh, and then we'll get back to the next recipe. All right, I'm back. Thank you for waiting for me. Yeah, everyone wants that shop to open up. TLD mug, yeah, that Hinterland store has been closed too long. All right, I think we're doing the um, cookie dough bars next. Let's chill for a minute though. I gotta, I gotta hang out and rest and I'll eat, eat a bit. <laughs> but thanks everyone again for joining me today. I really appreciate it. Uh, is Streamlabs dead, or is Heist on cooldown? I'm so excited for that cookie dough bars. Yeah, two things. They're actually really easy. Uh, so let's go through the recipe together. Uh, it's pretty simple, but you need you need a food processor or a good blender. I think that's the only, only issue. So if someone hits exclamation point cooking, Uh, yeah, you'll be able to see the recipe. There you go, nice one. So it's the top one. Yeah, the top one. All right, let's go through it together. Best cookie dough bars you will ever try. And I actually agree, they're so good. And they're healthy-ish, they're healthy. They're healthy, folks. <laughs> All right. Six main ingredients. No baking required. Cookie dough, but better for you. Allergen friendly. What? Allergen friendly. <laughs> All right. We need the medjool dates. We need rolled oats. We need tahini, which is basically uh, like sesame butter, I think. I think sesame butter. It's kind of swanky. Um, I, I'm sure you could substitute you could substitute that tahini uh, with something else getting friendly in here <laughs> so tahini um, maple syrup we like our maple syrup vanilla as an option uh, chocolate chips easy that's it 
All right, the first thing we have to do is uh, get some hot water. So I'm going to turn the mic off and boil water for coffee and the, the dates because we have to soak the dates first. I'll try turning Streamlabs on and off again. I'm talking to myself because the kettle's on. Would you recommend a replacement for tahini or no? What, what, what could you use instead? Almond butter or peanut butter will work just fine. Nice one, thank you. Yes, yeah, I'm muting it because of this tank noise. Subtle, thank you for the cheer. Thank you, thank you. All right, I think it's quiet enough. So, cheers. What we're doing is we're adding um, boiling water and we're gonna soak the dates for five minutes. And uh, let's see how many dates it calls for.
Okay, one packed cup. One packed cup. Looks pretty packed to me. All right, we're gonna let this soak for about five minutes. Whoa, Spartacus. You look my favorite coffee mug. Nice one, good to have you Spartacus. And thank you for the support, 15 months. Holy smokes. Folks, throw some hype uh, in the chat for that huge, huge resub. Thank you Spartacus, it's amazing. Yeah, I got a lot of dates. I got a whole cup full of dates. <laughs> <laughs> but cheers. Thank you again, Spartacus, for all your support. That's huge. That's huge. Thank you. All right, what are we doing? What am I doing with my life? Can we get a coffee, folks? Do you want to drink a coffee with me? Let's do that. we got five minutes, and then um, we'll bake a coffee in the meantime. So we're doing our AeroPress again, in case you missed it. This is how I do coffee. So we got this, uh, this is my like generic coffee that I use when I think of the good, good stuff. Again, we're gonna bloom it. That chill for a sec. Are there more cards? There are more cards. Holds up a date. Look, I've got a date. <laughs> Sipping a Kona blend. Nice, kind of. Yeah, we know that's the good stuff. Uh, let's get another card going. Hello. This is changing. Hold well, on. I guess this will not be anonymous. Yeah, yeah, and this is like actually really complicated for me. The ones with the image, the videos, give me a minute. You gotta give me like 20 minutes here. <laughs> um, I probably on, in hindsight should have set this up last night because I, I kind of didn't have time for it this morning. We got one. We did it. This one's for Helga. Dear Helga. Hold on, I can't read this. Oh God! Frick. <laughs> Sorry, I can't read the cursive. I just spilled my coffee. Um. I think we're stinking cute. Project Winter Partners together. Happy Valentine's Day, your Valentine. Thank you, sorry. <laughs> A 
Good thing I didn't have the cameras on. <laughs> uh, basically what happened was I went to lean in to see and I knocked over my coffee, but it's fine. It was only blooming, so it's still all in there. Just a little drama, no worries. That was good. I'm okay. No, I'm not okay. <laughs> I know. No, no, no. The coffee, it was only blooming. So it, it fell. This fell off. But it like landed upright and nothing fell out. It was epic. It was perfect. One could say it was absolutely dynamite. But y'all missed it. <laughs> All right. We need this coffee. Cheers. <laughs> Apparently I can't read cursive. Uh, you should really try Ethiopian. I actually uh, have, I, I used to get this band blend uh, from Ethiopia from this company that's local in Victoria. It's really nice. Uh, smaller bean. Much smaller bean, but very flavorful. Alright, holy smokes. Okay, the dates are done. The dates are done. Alright, so we've got the dates. Uh, I like Turkish coffee, but too poor to get anything. Yeah, I had Turkish coffee once, Jen. I found this like hole in the wall Turkish uh, cafe. It's so good. The way they make it's really interesting too. You can get naturally processed beans. The air press, yeah, Jasmine. It's a, it's like pretty cheap, and really easy to use, and it makes a good cup of coffee. Aeropress is neat. And if you try Blue Mountain coffee, what's that? We have a few coffee aficionados in chat, I'm sure. All right, cheers everyone to the second cup. Almost lost it to the floor. Mm. Oh yeah. Okay. So we've got the dates. They've boiled. Uh, I actually have modified this recipe. So it's a third cup of tahini and 1.75 cups of oats. Um, basically like two and a quarter cups. It's from Blue Mountain in Jamaica and it grows naturally. Nice. Let's check it out. All right, let's check this out. Okay. Place oats in bowl of food processor, pulverize them until you have a fine oat flour. All right, let's get the food processor out, BRB. kind of whippersnappers. So what did I say? Two and a third cups of oats. I think basically what I've done is I've modified this just a bit. Sometimes it's a little dry. So we're doing doing a little slight modification. It 
considered the best coffee in the world? What? Okay, uh, I'm gonna turn, let me know if this is too noisy. I'm gonna turn this down and then fire the food processor up. It wasn't locking into place. All right, let's do this thing. We're gonna place the oats in the processor and pulverize them until we have a fine flour, or you can use store-bought flour. Sorry if that hurt your ears, but we got it. We got it going. All right, what's next? Add pitted dates, tahini, maple syrup, vanilla, and salt. Blend until sticky dough is formed. All right. So we're adding the dates, the tahini, maple syrup, vanilla, and salt. I wish I told you how much, like, in the instructions. It's like, add the amount, but I don't know how much it is. I gotta scroll up and lose my place. Okay, a third of a cup instead of a quarter of a cup. I want an extra, I want extra. stir this first. It's quite viscous. A crispy chicken almost ready. Nice. Hey, Goon. Good to see my friend. Happy Valentine's Day, Goon. Love you, buddy. Enjoy the lurk. Yeah, we're doing some cooking. Do your dishes. <laughs> I will. I'll, I'll just basically get this going a bit more, and then uh, we'll do some more dishes. Gotta keep up with the dishes. So yeah, I'm just um, stirring the tahini. Again, I'm adding a little more than it calls for, but that's just because I want it uh, to be a bit gooier. Because sometimes it's a little dry if you add what it exactly says. So less oats, more tahini for this version of the recipe. And that's that's the thing about cooking, folks, is you might find your preferences differ a little bit. Don't be afraid to experiment. Like the first time you try a recipe, if there's something like a little off in your opinion, give it a shot, mix, mix it up a bit. 
you know, um, just adding more tahini, less oats is what really makes this. Like, otherwise it was a little dry. A little dry for me. Okay, let's see here. What's next? We got tahini. We got maple syrup. Four and a half tablespoons. Whoa. <laughs> Holy smokes. Ooh. That is a spicy meatball. What the heck is four and a half tablespoons anyways? It's gotta be like a whole cup. All right, here we go. 4.5. One. Two. Three. Four. Well, four and more than a half. <laughs> it's okay, it's okay. All right, what else? Salt. Hey, Putin, good to see ya. We have a new redeem. I'll probably have to watch the VOD of this, but I thought I'd pop in to say hi. Ah, yeah, no worries. Appreciate you coming by, Poot. Um, we've been going for about three hours now. We've made, so far, I've eaten half of them already. <laughs> uh, but I've made these kind of, uh, there's um, crispy sesame tofu, cabbage, crispy mushrooms, vermicelli noodles, um, and a spicy Thai peanut sauce and a rice wrap. So that's what we made first. And now we're doing uh, these, they're called cookie dough, cookie dough bars. Yeah, especially the Valentine's Day cards. Yeah, I've been doing cards. Let's do another one. Uh, maybe we can get this right now. <laughs> All right, this one's for me. This one's for me. Isn't it cute? I'm soy into you. Happy Val Day. Don't worry, it's gluten free. Isn't that cute? Ah! <laughs> That's adorable. I don't know who did that one. Anonymous? Well, either way, thank you. Thank you, Anonymous. I'm soy into you. Gluten free. Isn't that cute? So cute. Let's do another one. This was the last one we had. For Mark Wars. And let's check out one for Tess here. Give me a minute. I gotta re reform these every time. All right, two testicle. To my special Valentine, next to Ronald McDonald, I love you best from Mark Wars. <laughs> Lovely. Love the picture. Happy Valentine's Day, Tess, and thank you, Mark Wars. <laughs> Special Valentine's, nice one. All right, one more, one more. Now, I don't know, was Helga here when we showed yours? I don't know if we did. Helga, this one's for you. I don't know if you're here when we showed it. <laughs> we had a disaster. Dear Helga, I think we're stinking cute Project Winter Partners together. Your Valentines. <laughs> How am I going to explain doing a Valentine's for testicle to my wife? <laughs> but there you go, Helda. You were there? Okay, okay. Sorry, my memory is that of a goldfish, as you all know. Let's get another one happening. This one, uh, Gallifrey Girl, are you here? Gallifrey Girl. Let me know if you're in the audience. Hey, Olavuna, good to see ya. But yeah, uh, Gallifrey, if you're around, let us know and we'll share uh, share the card that's for you. All right, maybe we'll wait in that one. <laughs> Uh, 
Let's see if we got another one. Uh, here's one for Sarah. Spicy. Oh my. To Sarah, happy Valentine's Day from Glittered Kitten. Cute. Oh my. I hope I don't get in trouble. <laughs> Oof, it's getting hot in here, folks. Oh my. Oh my. <laughs> Let's have a drink. Oh, you know what? We were cooking, weren't we? We were like halfway through cooking. I totally forgot. Mmm. Okay, we got the maple syrup. Let's get the almond extract. If I can find it. Here we go. We've got the, the pure, uh, sorry, vanilla, vanilla extract. What is it called for? One tablespoon. What? Or you just do a plop. Just plop, plop some in there. It doesn't matter. Tablespoon just means like one of them's. Boop. No alcohol. If I only had that sexy of a Valentine. <laughs> well, you do. There you go. That one's for you. All right, folks. I'm going to grind these. Hold on. Wait, 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 wait. Salt. We need salt. And it says fine, so I'm going to use my... Uh, everyone, you should have a mortar and pestle. It's super handy. This is kind of a coarse grade, so I'm gonna, like it's not, it's not fine, so I'm gonna make it fine. That's so loud, sorry everyone. Why do I have a baby head? Wait, this? This, Yen? Did you say this baby head? This is no baby. Look, he's, he's got an earring. He's got a pipe and a mustache. Yeah, no, I don't know what this is. It's something that my mom had that I remember growing up and I thought it was super creepy and there was like a collection of them. And uh, yeah, I took this one when I moved out as a, as a memory. Let me wash my hands. Yeah, it still seems, it's weird. It's weird, Rock, it's weird. I have no idea. I have no idea what's about. All right, we got some salt. How much did it call for? Two teaspoons? It seems like quite a bit. Half a teaspoon. All right, all right. All right, folks, I'm going to turn this down and turn on the uh, food processor. That worked, folks. It worked. I'm surprised. I'm uh, I'm impressed with myself. All right. So basically, we've got this dough now. It's all stuck together. So let's see. What does it say to do? If it uh, feels dry, add a spoonful of milk. 
teaspoon at a time. Transfer the dough to a bowl, fold in the chocolate chips. Easy. Got this, folks. Got this. Get this out of here. Just like that. That's something I want to rinse because it's going to be hard to clean if I don't. Hey, we got a high school in. Get in on it, folks. You know he wants to. Hey, Packer, Packer. And Ninja, good to see you. Everyone, if I've missed you, I'm sorry. Christian, hello, good to see you. Welcome. Food processor, do you actually like the sound of that? But welcome, everyone. Good to have you. All right, let's fold in some chocolate chip. Let's go on for half a cup. These are basically just dark chocolate chips. No milk at it. I think. <laughs> yeah, it's got uh, vanilla chocolate sugar soy. Alright, let's try to fold. Let's fold this in now. Ooh. tricky because it's like a real hard hard cookie dough basically at this point so just get it going until it's all kind of consistently even so the chocolate chips are like spread out throughout the whole whole works Okay, then we're gonna get, this is our, it's like a Pyrex, Pyrex uh, bread bowl. Today is not my day, oh no, failed the heist. Gamble, all reboot, nice win, GG. Um, right, we'll get some butter. Oh wait, do I need to grease it? I probably do need to grease it. Get a little bit of this butter. Uh, I do need to drop out of this after, so you could use parchment paper, but I'm just gonna grease it a little bit. Putin, welcome back. That looks like cookie dough. It, it's it's like crazy. It's literally oats, oats, dates, chocolate chips, tahini, salt. It's so simple, but it does taste delicious. And oh, we're not even done yet, folks. We're not even done. All right. Fold in. Blah, 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 lined thing with parchment paper. Uh, let it hang over. Okay. So maybe we didn't need to do this. Now we go 
sort of try to get this into a form, and it's pretty, pretty chunky. freezer for half an hour. By the way, hey there Spartacus. We're all nerds, Tess. <laughs> you miss Tess? Oh, let's redo it. Let's redo it. Where is it? Where is it? Oh, 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 what's that? All right, there you go again, Tess. To my special Valentine next to Ron McDonald, I love you best. Volume's low, thank you. I turned it down to uh, avoid that noise. Go back to the first one. Mark Wars, you rock. Hugs from Ivy. Oh, the spicy one. Oh, no. <laughs> Mark Wars. My goodness. My goodness. <laughs> All right. Um, we got to put this in the freezer. So it's a no-bake cookie dough. This is stage one. Put it in the freezer. And we'll let that, we'll let that set up for half an hour. Okay, now we clean up. I'm sorry, but it's a mess in here. I gotta clean. So uh, bear with me. Give me a minute. We'll just chill, clean up a little. What was the command? Um... Yeah, hey, Holy Sea Biscuits. There you go. So I have two recipes on there. And then the other one is kind of like one I've taken but made my own. So it's on the Discord, if you're on there. In the food, food station. The food channel. Finally some good washing up. Yeah, you said it. This is what everyone's here for, right? The washing up stream. Penguin of War, good to see ya. Welcome in, yes, folks. Welcome, sorry if I'm missing chat. Hello, everyone. We're cleaning. We're cleaning up right now. Happy 
you don't clean as you go, it becomes an overwhelming mess pretty quick in the kitchen. So just try, try to take a minute here and there when you can. You'll thank yourself later. This is just the hardest part because of all the dates. It's really sticky. All right, how's everyone doing? I had a moment at the beginning of the pandemic to do green hair. Really? Nice. Yeah, I used to have green hair. You got blue hair, Putin? Nice. How's the cooking going? It's good. Um, I've been eating these throughout, but these are these um, Asian rice rolls. I don't know. I don't know what to call them, wraps. But they're basically, they've got crispy tofu, um, cabbage, vermicelli, uh, sauteed crispy mushrooms. Pretty good. Only four left. Well, <laughs> um, there's uh, like a ton in the fridge and what I'll do is I'll use them for bowls. So the bowl is like, I'll add rice and lettuce and then all the other ingredients and just eat it. <laughs> Those riper things are hard to use. They are holy sea biscuits, yeah. Um, they're not easy. What I was doing was I was soaking them in hot water and then dab them off with paper towels and then try try your best to lay it out um, as a full circle. You're joking, you're just teasing. <laughs> I used them a while back and we tried deep frying them. Did it work? Interesting. All right, cheers folks. Cheers. Cheers. Nice one. Hey, it's the same mug. <sighs> nice. Clean up, right? Always got to have a good clean workstation. Yeah, I know, we like, we got the, the timing down. <laughs> uh, all right, let's, um, okay, we're gonna do the next step of this uh, cookie dough bar is the top. So on top is a layer of dark chocolate with flaked sea salt. It's so good, it's so decadent. So what I'm doing is I'm getting hot water in a pan I guess this is kind of like 
double boiling, but lazy. We're just talking about Turkish coffee. I think this is something like that. I don't really know what this is for. Um, it's like a ceramic. I don't know what it is. Something. What's this called? A little pot? I don't know. But anyways, this goes in the hot water. Well, not quite yet. It's going to float away on me. <laughs> so we've got our chocolate chips. I don't even know how much. It doesn't matter. We don't have to use it all. And then we got some coconut oil. Bit more. Okay, yeah, Grim really likes the coconut oil. He usually gets the treat. All right, so now that goes in here. And we're basically just uh, the chocolate with the coconut and this is what we're going to pour on top of the cookie dough bars. Faded blue is cool. Did you bleach your blonde at enamel? Yeah, you got it subtle enamel. Yeah, I kind of wish I could cook like this in TLD <laughs> with the maple syrup. Yeah, maple syrup is a winner for sure. Like it's just great because it's quite concentrated sweet so you don't need a lot of it. As I say, with four tablespoons of maple syrup in this recipe. All right, let's let that chill. And uh, let's hang out. I hope everyone's doing good. We're getting through this thing. We've gotten uh, almost two dishes done. No, no real chaos other than the one, the one hiccup off cam. <laughs> hmm. But thanks everyone for joining us today. Again, I appreciate it. This is a little different from what we normally do, but. Why not? Once in a while, this is kind of a fun little little experiment. And uh, the idea is um, you're getting getting to sample some of my favorite recipes. This is the kind of stuff I like cooking. But uh, how's everyone doing? Any questions? Any concerns? Maybe we got another Valentine's Day card we can share. Gallifrey girls here, but let's uh, let's share this one. All right, here's one for Gallifrey. Dear Gallifrey, I love you a little s'more every day. Ah, that's adorable. That's adorable. Um, Yen, I basically downloaded them as soon as you sent me that link. So if it wasn't in that first link, then I don't have it. So let me know if I gotta, gotta look for it. Dear Gallifrey girl, I love you a little s'more every day. That's cute. That's cute. Yeah, let me know, let me know again. The little s'mores, yeah, they're adorable. They're adorable. <laughs> well again, thank you everyone for joining me here in my kitchen, kind of a, uh, Kind of an intimate spot here, but it is Valentine's Day. Cheers, everyone. Alrighty. Let's check on this uh, chocolate soon. <sighs> Big shout out to Yen for organizing this. Yeah, Yen, you're awesome. Yeah, send me a link. Wait, are you going to send it on here? 
Uh, crispy chicken is delicious. 10 p.m. Oh, no worries. My pleasure. That's awesome. I'm glad uh, Maria and folks, um, Maria does have an Instagram where they share some cool pictures of food. So make sure you go check out Chef Maria's Insta. I think it might be the same name. Uh, feel free to correct me, Maria. I'm just looking at that spice rack. Yeah. Can I show you? <laughs> Basically, I've got everything in these same jars, all labeled. It's so awesome. So I don't, like before, everything was in this cupboard here, right? And it was just a gong show. I'd open the cupboard and like the spices would fall out or I'd be like digging through it. You know, like, oh, what's this? You know, I couldn't see anything. But now it's just there. I just have the spices. Easy, I love it. No worries, Maria, no worries. All right, we're starting to get melty chocolate. Starting to get melty chocolate, stir it up. Nice. It looks nice and neat in all the same jars. Yeah, I actually had to like go out and buy a lot, but I had I had a ton of these jars, so I just thought, why not? <laughs> I'm gonna do it. It looks really good, but that was like after uh, Marie Kondo, cleaning up with Marie Kondo, and I reorganized my kitchen. Hey, uh, Alex plays. Good to see you. Welcome. Anyone here? Um, subtle. We basically had this uh, thing going on for the past couple weeks where if you were interested, you could join. So it's kind of come and gone, but we'll be doing it again, I think. I don't understand the point of paprika. What? Yen's gonna tear your head off, Penguin. Paprika's pretty awesome. It's like a subtle, uh, it's like a subtle spice. <laughs> I thought you'd love paprika, Yen. I remember you said you had like four different kinds. Yeah, sorry, subtle. Um, but basically, we had this sort of thing going where you could sign up, and we had we had a few people. Smoked paprika. Whoa, uh-oh. We got a whole pineapple debate going. <laughs> yeah, send it, send it to, send it to, wait, how? Yen, how? Do you, do you, like, <laughs> it's all of you, Yen. If you can organize it with Subtle, post, post a link, me? Do you not like seasoning salt? Um, I don't have seasoning salt. I have salt and pepper. So I don't know what seasoning salt is. Is that like a mix of a bunch of different spices? Yeah, if you post a link to a card, I can open it up for sure. I think. Like you're asking a lot of me again. I don't really know what I'm doing. Hey, heist all the salt. All the salt folks. The Himalayan. And the flaked. Iced it up. <laughs> so I don't know if you can see what I got going here. But it's like melted chocolate basically. So I'm gonna turn the heat down a touch and then we're gonna just let this chill, hang out, simmer, whatever you wanna call it. Hey, Atomic, I was wondering why it got so quiet. Apparently got network air. No! I love this meme. It's such fancy salts. That's not even it. I, I even have more. And then this is Van Isle. Fine sea salt. Canadian made. All natural. <laughs> no iodine in that. I don't use salt. This seems like a lot of salt. What? I use salt on everything I make. Um, keep in mind the human body needs sodium. You do need sodium in your diet, not a lot, but if you don't have sodium, you can't process certain nutrients or something. I don't know, I don't know the deal, but if you have zero sodium in your diet, you're not gonna do good. Just chocolate. Um, there's, it's chocolate and coconut oil. So the coconut oil makes it like creamy. Um, if that's a, if that's a description for chocolate. But the coconut oil helps it get a bit silkier, and it will it will uh, spread out more. And then when it dries, it's a nice um, glossy texture. 
salt's important in your body too much or too little yeah 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 you you don't want to overdo it but like when i cook every part of the cooking gets a bit of salt and pepper for seasoning same pot they use yeah yeah atomic thunder turkish coffee pot that's what I use here in my, I've only ever used it for melting chocolate. I got it used on garage sale. It's this like local um, app where you like meet up with people for buy and sell. I bought it used and I've used it just for this. That's all I've used it for. It's awesome. <laughs> all right. Let's, uh, let's sit, let's sit for a minute. <laughs> Do you mean for cooking? When you salt the water for pasta? Yeah, so when you salt the water for pasta, that's important. I don't know why, but oh, it's part of the... Uh, I can't get comfortable. <laughs> that's part of the process. Turkish coffee is actually pretty easy. Is it really? Because like when I saw someone making it, they had like a, a heated pile of sand. And it was like there was this one part of the sand that was super hot. And they'd like move the coffee onto it and it'd like boil. And they move it off and it'd be boy I just didn't know what was going on. It looked like black magic voodoo. But it was very neat. Violacious Mr. Chicken. Poor Mr. Chicken. Mr. Chicken, if you're around, I'm sorry. You're you're like uh you're like the antagonist in chat because of the because of the uh point sport. <laughs> That's just a fancy way to do it. Yeah. Doesn't matter, just add a load in. It won't matter. As the pasta will take on very little but it's so hard to get that flavor back in the past if you don't get wrecked, Mr. Chicken. Yeah, come on now. Uh, you can't really over salt the water. Yeah, 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 yeah. salt the water. Um, I make these potatoes, so they're called smash potatoes, basically nugget potatoes, and you literally put half a cup of salt in the water. <laughs> and then you boil the potatoes just so they're just cooked, and then you dry them off, and then you smash them so they're like, flatten but still a potato just like one smash and then you generously salt pepper and oil and then you bake them at a high heat they're amazing so good but yeah it gets like half a cup of salt in the water should i post this link again oh if you posted it, i didn't see it yeah go for it go for it it's the other way around for me i use table salt or a grinder you never salt the water though we can smash in the UK, it's dried packet potato. You mix it with water. Oh, no, 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 this isn't smashed potatoes. They're like a crispy baked um, fried kind of thing. So you kind of like, I get like this cup here and I'd, I'd smush the potato a little bit, just like, just to like take it from this to like this. And it, it makes all these cracks and textures that make it so the outer layer is crispy and the inside soft, it's so good. Okay, here we go, here we go. We've got a link, folks. Give me one minute. Um, <laughs> all right, let me try uh, this differently. All right.
to Gallifrey Girl. I hope you're doing well on this special day. Whether or not you're going out or napping it away, remember to take make time for you. It doesn't have to be a day or two. Take a long bubble bath, binge watch some TV, curl up with a good book, whatever makes you happy. But don't forget the best treats. Get yourself your favorite meal, followed by some sweets. Happy Valentine's Day, Gen X Gaming Girl. Aw, thank you, Jen. That was lovely. And uh, Gallifrey Girl, if you're not around, we'll replay this later. But that's lovely, Jen. Thank you for sharing. All right, next. Let's get the next one going. All right, there we go. This one's from Subtle. I wish all in chat and wands himself a very pleasant evening. Oh, it's Bugs Bunny. Lovely. Thank you, Subtle. That's really sweet. <laughs> nice. Nice job. Add a tablespoon of Turkish coffee in the pot and fill the pot halfway with room temp water and mix it well. Then you heat it on the stove till it rises, take it off, mix it again till it goes back down. Put it on the stove, let it rise again, and then pour, then mix and pour. So what about the grounds, Atomic Thunder? How do you get the grounds? Ron's making Minecraft filter noises. I know, I know, Hawkeye. Um, the problem is, is I got this all today and I couldn't make scenes for each one, so I have to like do it on the fly. Normally what I'd do is I'd make a scene where I could just click on it and it'd be like already formed to fit. <laughs> so we're, we're doing it at the seat of our pants. But thank you everyone, this is really sweet. No, no, subtle, it's fine, it's fine. It's fine. It's just the, the setup here. You buy them as they are. But, but, but what about the grounds? Like, how do you filter the grounds out? You have a vintage laugh of Bugs Bunny? That's so cute. I love lamps. Oh, Hawkeye, you're too sweet to me, Hawkeye. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> all right. The chocolate is good. It's all melted. We got pretty much, we're done. So we've got our frozen situation here. All right, let's zoom it in here. Alright folks, chocolate time. Then I'm just going to basically roll it around to get an even coating. It's just like that. So it pours out real nice. This is, uh, this is the flake salt. This is the good stuff, folks. Wow, 
not a lot. You just want like a little flaky salt in each bite <laughs> on the top. So it might seem like a lot, but it oh, flake salt and dark chocolate is so so good. Trust me. So see, it's not it's not like crazy amounts of salt. It's just like a a light dusting of flake salt. Okay, we're gonna put this back in the fridge now, and then uh, I'll let it set and we'll cut it. But yeah, that's that's it, folks. It's that easy. It's super simple. Those uh, cookie bars are dynamite. So if you're gonna try anything from today, I'd say try those cookie bars. They are easy, tasty, actually somewhat maybe kind of healthy. Definitely give it a shot. All right, we've done it. Can you uh, even eat more than a bite of this? Yeah, I have. Um, so what I'll do, Jasmine, is I'll cut it into slices that are about like a centimeter wide, and then I'll have one or two of those for a snack. So good. I love a bit. Ooh, so there you go. You could sprinkle just a touch of uh, cayenne or even like little chili flakes. The Mayans test. I think the Mayans did that. They love their heat. Yeah, just a bit of heat. There was this um, brunch place I used to go to uh, called the Blue Fox, and I'd always order their, what was it called? Um, chili, chili spiced mocha. It's basically chocolate coffee with chili peppers in it and whipped cream on top. Yeah, after, after joining, yeah, you'll eat the whole, you'll eat the whole pan. Oh my goodness. Okay, um, let's drink some coffee. Let's drink some water. I might have another snack. <laughs> hmm. Let's clean up a bit more. Always be cleaning. ABCs, folks, always be cleaning. think about it just infuse that coconut <laughs> hey now uh, oh great let's uh, let's just think about the next step here we've got pad thai still pad thai is the easiest part of this whole day so this is this is like we started hard with the um, wraps and then we went to the kind of easy dessert and now we're going for easy easy pad thai Turkish uh, Turkish coffee sounds like cowboy coffee oh because it's like pretty rough rough and simple what's going on with the heist did uh streamlabs fall asleep again hey someone got shouted out i missed it hey thanks for shouting out helga Tess. appreciate that yeah folks we got we got some lovely uh new streamers hanging out so a few people who have been big supporters of the channel uh they're starting to stream so shout outs to helga uh, Violacious, Rep Gorth, Silty. It's a lot of good folks to check out, and I'm sure I'm missing people. If you're hanging out in chat and you're just starting a stream, hit us up. We'll uh, we'll get you some uh, some shouts and follows, hopefully. <laughs> but yeah, these are some good folks, people. So um, consider consider dropping some follows. Prob on cooldown. Yeah, I'm gonna get some more water. Cheers. Ooh, I think I'm gonna eat. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna eat one of these again. This is my um, my lunch, so cheers, everyone. And yeah, these are good cold. Uh, you can just leave them in the fridge, whatever you want. Mm, it's still crunchy. <laughs> These are so good, folks. Like, it's it's amazing. You got the crunch from the tofu and the cabbage. You got that subtle peanut butter heat. The mushrooms. It's really, really happy. Hey, Glitter Kitten. Good to see ya.
All right, Glitter Kitten, this one's for you. It's the day of hearts. Hope your day brings just what you want it to. I hope you feel loved and appreciated on Valentine's Day because... Because, just because. Just because, that's why. But Glitter Kitten, that one's for you. I don't know what it says. It just says you are dot n. <laughs> oh, what? Where do you see that? Because you are loved and appreciated. Okay, let's try that again. It's the day of hearts. Hope your day brings just what you want it to. I hope you feel loved and appreciated on Valentine's Day because you are loved and appreciated. All right, that's awesome. And there you go, Glitter Kitten, that one's for you. You are loved and appreciated. <laughs> I can't read. Because, 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 the wonderful Wizard of Oz. All right, we got a heist going. You're popping in and out, no worries, Settle, no worries. Thanks again for the, uh, the V-Day card. Oh, that one's from Maria, thank you, Maria. No worries. All right. Whew. Uh, let's keep snacking. I need to eat, folks. I gotta. I gotta eat. Oh yeah, Glitter Kitten's card um, sets shockwaves through the chat. <laughs> ah, cheers. All right, <clears throat> I think um, I'll uh, I'll take a minute and I'm gonna read I'm gonna read the poem that I made for chat. Okay, let's um, put on our beer. Let me read it. <laughs> you guys ready for this? Are you all sitting down? A poem? Yeah. <laughs> what? A poem for chat, yes. This is, um, this is for you, chat. <clears throat> all right, are you ready? Are you ready? All right, here we go. This one's for you, chat. Roses are red. Violets are blue. Y'all just twitch chat, but I love you. Watching for so many hours, you've watched me blossom. And for this I say, you are freaking awesome. Here's to many more streams and for living out my dreams. Thank you and I love you. Honestly, folks, you're amazing. Thank you for hanging out with me, and hopefully we have many more adventures together. Thank you, everyone. <laughs> Love you all. Honestly, this has been a huge adventure for me. I had no idea that this little channel would have so many lovely people coming and hanging out with me. It's truly amazing, so thank you, everyone. It means a lot. Aw, <laughs> Maria, thank you for the cheer. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> oh, Summer! Oh, guys, come on, you don't have to do that, but thank you. Okay, here we go. <gasps> hype, hype, hype. Get your hype, hype, hype. <laughs> thank you, uh, thank you for the cheer. Uh, Summer Gemini, that's really generous of you. Thank you, thank you. Hey, Nev, good to see you, welcome. Shakespeare is jobless. Yeah, that one, uh, that one's, uh, we're spitting some fire there, weren't we? Whoa, Taz with 300 bits, holy smokes. And with that, we got a hype train. Oh my goodness. You guys like my poetry? <laughs> Thank you. Hey, Quill, good to see you again. High five. 
Oh, wait. Can I... That was horrible. I tried, I tried. Whoa, whoa, holy smokes, what is going on? Hawkeye just donated $20? Hawkeye, thank you so much. That's super generous of you. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness, what is happening? I gotta, I gotta scroll up and read that. Back at you, buddy. Thank you, Hawkeye. That's super generous. Thank you so much. And Jen with a hundred bit cheer. Thank you. Thank you, Gen X Gaming Girl. You're too kind. Whoa. Oh my god. Lots of stuff is happening. Chef Maria has get the tier one sub to Yen. Thank you, Maria. Thank you. Thank you. That's super nice of you. Their fourth gift to the channel. Congrats, Yen. Enjoy. Spam those emotes. And now Mark Wars give them a sub, holy smokes, 103 to the channel, and it's going to Robbie Oz. Awesome. Thank you so much, Mark Wars. Congrats, Robbie. You look like a karate master. <laughs> I think someone said that earlier. What? <laughs> we love you two ones. Aw, someone TTS me. Aw, thank you. And um, Yen with the cheer, thank you, Yen. Ruach, uh, thank you, Ruach, with the cheer. Feel the love. I do indeed feel it. Thank you, everyone. Tess with the TTS. Thank you, Tess. Love you, too. Oh, you folks are way too good to me. Gamble all the extra mushy shop. Oh, you lost. <laughs> High five. Hold on. Oh, my God. Where's the cat at? Huh? Oh, why is that so hard? How come I can't figure that out? Someone try it again. Do, do the do the high five again. <laughs> Maybe I can get it. <laughs> holy smokes. Summer, holy smokes. Summer with the 500 bit cheer. Wow, thank you so much, Summer. Super generous of you. Oh my goodness, Captain Picard, holy smokes. Wow, five subs to the channel. 45 total, so congrats, subtle, evil robot guy, Alana Devani. Riven, and Robert's Mojo. Big, big, big thank you to Captain Picard. If you got a sub and you're hanging around, yeah, give a give a thanks. Again, thank you, Captain Picard. Super generous of you. Captain is now Admiral. <laughs> Excuse me. Someone should clip this? Oh, no. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Thank you, Tess, for the cheer. My goodness, thank you everyone. Yeah, I really appreciate the support. I know I've said it before. It's not it's not necessary. You don't have to be subbed or cheering or gifting to hang out here, but I really do appreciate it and it helps the channel. Hey, Alana, thanks for coming by and saying thanks to Captain Picard. Thank you, thank you. Hey, oh no, oh no. <gasps> Did we get it? Almost? That one's tough. That one was tough. <laughs> hey, thank you, uh, K Cuff. Thank you for the cheer. My goodness. I hope I'm not missing anyone, but thank you, everyone. You're amazing. Domo, hello, Domo. Good to see you. Thank you for the cheer, Domo. Appreciate you. Thank you, thank you. We got it. We did it. <laughs> nice one. Again, thank you everyone. I really appreciate it. Y'all are so generous and kind and caring and all that stuff. Penguin, what's this? What do we got here? Is this a, is this a thing? All right, let's share this. Uh, this is Penguin's. But hello, Domo, welcome in. Let's see if I can quickly share this without Breaking everything. Nice! Hey, look at that handsome gent. Happy Valentine's Day. Look at that piercing gaze, my goodness. Whew. It's getting hot in here. 
Thank you, Penguin. Happy Valentine's Day to you, my friend. Yeah, Yen likes that one. <laughs> it's Gerbaldo. Garibaldo. Wins a Howlin. Wins a Howlin. <laughs> How was that? <laughs> Thank you. So hot. Gamble all those good looks. Nice win. Hubba hubba, indeed. Glitter Kitten, which channel are all the Valentine's Day posted in? In arts. Aw, that's actually happening? Thank you. Um, yeah, Glitter Kitten, if you're interested in having uh, the card sent to you, ask, ask Yen and she'll hook you up. No worries, Maria, no worries. Wands should play Geralt. <laughs> okay, come on now, come on now. <laughs> you make me laugh. You make me laugh, Atomic Thunder. But thank you, everyone, again. I appreciate all the hype. Level 3, 88%. You guys are awesome. Cheers. Oh my goodness, we got another 100 bitch here from Tess. Thank you, Tess. Thank you, thank you. Uh, I played Witcher 3, and I absolutely loved it. I played the heck out of uh, Gwent, too. <laughs> We're friends now. You can just call me Atomic. All right, Atomic. Thank you, my friend. Or Adam. <laughs> thank you, Atomic Thunder. I appreciate it. I mean, Atomic. Jen with the cheer. Thank you, Gen X. You're way too kind. Thank you, Jen. Cheers. Cheers to all the cheers. Whoa, Jasmine, coming in with a cheer. Thank you, Jasmine. Cheers. Doop. <laughs> Wait, I could do this. Is this too loud? <laughs> kind out with the cheer. Uh, sorry. Okay, cough with the cheer. Thank you, cough again for the cheer. Thank you, thank you. Oh, we did it. We did it. Summer Gemini has just gifted us up to Maggie. They're 71st of the channel. Thank you, Summer. Thank you so much. You've been a huge supporter of the stream for a long time. Thank you so much, Summer, for all you do. And uh, everyone who's been cheering, gifting, subbing, thank you. It means a lot to me. Um, really is amazing all the support this channel's been getting. Cheers. Yeah, big thanks to Summer, Maggie. Thanks for uh, sticking around. Cheers. All right, let's cut those bars. What do you think? What do you think? Are we ready? Okay, here we go. Oh. Hype, hype, oh. hype. Get your hype, hype, hype. <laughs> Thank you, everyone. You're awesome. Cheers. All right, so you can see now it's not shiny anymore. It's got like that gloss to it. Alrighty. You posted a clip on Discord? Nice, Poot, thank you, thank you. Yeah, and again, thank you everyone. I really appreciate the support. Amazing hype. 10 out of 10 hype. Alright. Let's get that knife out. Got our good knife again. Let's do it. Whoa, what's going on? Holy smokes, A-Town with the cheer. Thank you, A-Town. You're awesome. Cheers, A-Town. Whoa, Kickoff with the 500 bits. Holy smokes. Kickoff, thank you so much. That's huge, hugely generous. I would love a bar of this cookie. Yeah, let's have a, let's have a close-up of the cross section here. Look at that, folks. 
thing of beauty, joy to behold. Oh, so good. Cookie dough bar. It's a winner. It's a winner right there. Oh, but thank you again, Gekov. Super generous. Thank you, thank you. Absolutely delish. Hey, Robbie, thanks for coming by. Yeah, big thanks to Mark Wars for giving that sub to you. Nev, yeah, looks good. Sprinkle with coconut. Actually, Ruak, that's really clever. So the only thing is you'd have to do it while the chocolate's uh, melted. Because, like, right now you can see the chocolate's, like, picked up the salt and held onto it. Uh, if I put coconut on it now, it would slip off. But I should try that next time. Coconut, sea salt, chili powder. <laughs> Needs a taste test? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here, I'm just going to organize it. See, like the off cut here that's the chef bite that's the one you give the chef because it's wonky it doesn't look perfect you know that's the one we'll eat there you go folks this is gonna last me a week a week of snacks oh wait you know what I just remembered I think this I figured this out last time the logic cam is actually Got the green screen still on it. Holy smokes. Summer with another huge cheer. Wow, 500 bit cheer. Thank you, Summer. Wow. We did it, folks. Good job, everyone. Holy smokes. Y'all are amazing. Thank you for the support. Thank you, everyone. Choo choo. I really appreciate it. If you're cheering bits, gifting subs, hanging out, thank you. You're amazing. Thank you, thank you. The clips are in general in the Discord. Nice. Hey, Stomp. Good to see you, Stomp. Welcome. All right, let's uh, wash our hands and then have a snack here. All right, here we go. Let's try this thing out. All right, this is the uh, chocolate cookie dough bar. Cheers, everyone. <laughs> it's legit crazy how much like cookie dough this tastes like. It's like cookie dough, but made from oats. It's amazing. Hey, thanks for shouting Stomp out. I was playing some TLD. Yeah, folks, I was saying earlier, we got a lot of great great new streamers hanging out here in this channel. So do consider uh, dropping by, checking Stomp out, giving some support. Stomp just made it to affiliate uh, a few weeks back. Channel's growing quick. Uh, I, believe, I believe Stomp's playing some story mode, so check it out. Lurk, all right, Domo, Lurk love. Thank you, enjoy your lurking. Cheers, everyone. Yeah, big congrats to Stom for getting affiliated. Thanks a lot. Oh, no worries, Stom, no worries. Yeah. Okay, one more. Ooh, we got more things happening. What is this we have? Oh my, I got a little preview. Whew. Another steam, steamy. Good uh, pairing. A very happy and schmexy Valentine's Day. Now, what does this mean? What does that mean? 
What's what's schmexy? Is that like sexy? Can someone explain? <laughs> it's sexy. Okay. <laughs> oh my, spicy. Yeah, for those who are old, it's sexy, but spelled different. <laughs> Very spicy indeed. Nice one. <laughs> oh my, Juan butchered that like he would a dare. Schmexy? Schmexy? Is that what that says? <laughs> Yeah, we got it, we got it. Oof, this is filling. Like, you don't need much of these bars. Cheers, everyone. Yeah, have we write that? <laughs> yeah, Stomp, congrats again on affiliate. Big step. Keep it up, my friend. You're doing great. Your channel's growing quick. You're putting a lot of love into it, and it shows. Very good job. All right. I think we're almost ready to go to the next level, you know? We're thinking pad time next, right? I should just see if we have any more, um, more of these V-Day cards. Uh, other than the one for Aspidistra, Distra, I think we're good. I think we got them all. Yeah, we did it. Yeah, Cat's here. Should we show Cat? Grim. No, he's eating right now. He's eating his dinner. I think that's all of them. I love the TLD stream that I caught. Nice, Violicious. Yeah, Storm, you got some fans. You need to make a card for Grim. Uh, let's just give him some treats, how about? <laughs> He'll be happy with treats. Oof, I'm like full. This, I can't finish this last little bite. Is that sad? I can't eat this. <laughs> I'm too full. Disappointment. Thanks. Uh, not a pro player. Oh, well, come on, stop. I started I started out playing TLD and I was a complete noob. I didn't even know how to climb a rope. I only knew Coastal Highway. So you gotta start somewhere. Well, you did have quite a few of those rolls. Yeah, that's true. I ate, um, I ate at least four of these and they're no joke. Like, they're pretty hefty. <laughs> so, like, do you remember how many mushrooms I, I made? Like, that's a lot of mushrooms. <laughs> There's some protein in there. Mm. Well, what do you think? Are we ready for Pad Thai now? You guys want to go to the, the final dish? Or should we just hang out and chat some more? Green. What's up, buddy? All right, Grim's hanging out. Let's just pick up Grim and show him off. Do you even hear him? <laughs> oh. Oh. He's a big boy, isn't he? Look, you're on ten you're on camera, Grim. Okay, he's done. Oh, do you want to sit here? You want to sit here?
Yeah, he's pretty cute, eh? He's purring. I don't think you can hear him, though. All right, that's it. We gotta wash our hands now. What? All right, he wants to do tricks. All right, hold on. Yeah. All right. Chill, man, chill. Well, hold on, I gotta look for the treats. I don't know where your treats are, buddy. Where's your stuff at? Okay. Grim. Shake. Nice job. Yeah. High five. High five. Grim. Boom. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. <laughs> you did it, buddy. You're freaking awesome, man. All right, let, let me wash my hands. Yeah, pretty cute, eh? Grim is a good boy. Oh yeah, yeah, Tom, like he's a good and he high fives. Yeah, he's pretty smart. Behold, I return from the deep pits of my own life. Hey, Wasted, good to see you. Hey, Big Sweet Getty, welcome. You highly recommend Scat? I missed it. Uh, my kitty will not stay off my counters. Oh, no. Hey, Esther, good to see you. Hello, Esther, hope you're well. Welcome in. Once, have to let Viola know when you next want to do. Yeah, yeah, there's actually a couple players. Um, Adam Mobin wants to play. Violacious um, just picked it up. Um, we're doing Pad Thai. Yeah, Pad Thai. Nice parrot. Yeah, he's a shoulder cat. Bloom, good to see ya. All right, let's catch up on chat here. <laughs> What's changed here? Well, we're doing cooking stream today, so today is a bit different. A little bit different today. This cat gives a small puff of compressed air. Another thing is like double-sided tape. The cats don't like double-sided tape. Like they'll stick their paws to it and then they, they bail. Oh, holy smokes. I think we're a little bit too far here. Whoa. Okay, welcome everyone. Welcome to my kitchen. Since my YouTube channel was linked in the Discord, I uploaded my old cringy for episode long TLD series. Nice, Rock. We got a high scone, folks. They say cats don't like aluminum foil, but yours cares less. Yeah, I think like crunchy. Uh, noisy, stuff like that. 
Want to drop the pick on the Discord of Miss Stomper's cat? Aw, thank you. Yeah, folks, if you're not in the Discord, exclamation point Discord will get you an exclusive invite. It's a great spot. Lots of cat pictures. Uh, memes. Discussion about games. Um, excessive amounts of spam. It's all it's all good though. I'd say mute the mute the Discord though if you join. <laughs> Otherwise you get pinged a lot. Yours love foil, really weird. Cheers everyone. Alright, oh my god, okay, pad tie. Let's talk about this. Now this is a recipe that I kind of make um, just like out of my memory, but I did start at one point with a cookbook and it had uh, it had a recipe for, for pad thai, chicken pad thai. Um, I'm making mine with tofu, but you could do chicken, tofu, shrimp, beef, whatever you have basically. The Grimm's, uh, we're the Grimm gang. GG for, oops, I'm burping. How rude. Uh, GG is for Good Game and The Grim Gang. Yeah, The Grim Gang. And I can't take credit for that one. Um, back in the day when I was first starting up, I was pulling the audience and Mr. Colin came up with The Grim Gang. And uh, it's stuck around ever since. Okay, so Pad Thai. Uh, we're doing ours with tofu, but you could use prawns, chicken, beef. Um, but basically a wok, if you have a wok, that's ideal. Um, the wok lets you get high heat over a large surface area. And really this recipe is all prep. You do prep, prep, prep. And then once you get the wok hot, it takes like no time at all. It takes no time at all to get things finished. So let's, uh, let's start it off. Let's start folks. The only thing I'll mention is, uh, I didn't have my preferred noodles. So I had to get these ones. They're kind of a thinner, a thinner cut than I'd normally like. Like what you want is a, a kind of a thicker vermicelli rice noodle. Just like a little bit bigger than this would be ideal, but this will work fine. This will work just fine. So first things first, we'll just read the directions on the package and get this um, first step is basically to pre-cook this. Please soak in warm water for six minutes or until soft. Now that seems really vague and it is. Uh, the trick for this recipe is to properly cook this. When you are sampling it to, to see if it's ready, you want it to be chewy but not soft so it still needs like a little bit more cooking that makes sense because what we're going to do is we're going to heat it in the hot water and then this goes and gets uh rinsed and drained and then it gets cooked a second time in the pad thai sauce so you don't need to have it all the way cooked but you need to get it like 80 percent there yeah woks are awesome yeah everyone should have a, a al dante thank you al dante. <laughs> and it's important to keep in mind um, I'm making a lot and I'll be reheating it. So I don't want it to be overcooked because I'm gonna like cook it a second time. So it's kind of a fine balance, personal preference. All right, again, I don't even need I'm just hot water. I gotta clean up again. Sorry, BRB. Risotto? Uh, risotto's tough. Like, risotto, I remember 
making it once and I was like, dang, this is taking a long time. I was sitting there stirring the risotto, adding broth, stirring. It seemed like it took me 10 hours to make <laughs> the risotto. There's got to be a hack so that makes it quicker. But I, I'm pretty sure that's, that's what you got to do is low heat, add broth, let it absorb, keep stirring. <laughs> like the risotto's tough. Um, that's kind of advanced, I feel. It's a hard mode. Okay, this is kind of uh, way too much. I'm gonna use half the package, if that. Okay, half the package. Let me get a little bit more water in here. And that's more or less just gonna sit for five or 10 minutes, uh, probably closer to six minutes. And then I'm just gonna save this in a Ziploc. so it's going to last until I'm doing Pad Thai again, basically. Alright, so... We're going here, we're doing it. Pasta Polizia. I love how Stomp came in for the pasta cooking, <laughs> yeah. Well, this isn't quite pasta, it's more like a rice noodle. But yeah, basically, um... It's important, like same with pasta, you don't want to overdo it or underdo it. It's like a very fine point of doneness. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta get the feel, you know? You gotta get the feel for it. All right, so we've got this heating up. Let's not forget about it. We gotta basically check it until it's done and then drain it and run cold water on it so it doesn't overcook. That knife sounds good. You like the knife sounds? <laughs> you like that? Feel the pasta, be the pasta. Exactly. Like if you're if you're new to the kitchen, this is one of those things. It just takes time to get the feel for it. Like some people, they'll take a spaghetti and throw it at the wall. And if it sticks, that means it's done. I used to do that and my mom didn't like it that much. That was weird as hell. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> you don't like that noise? Do people actually do that with spaghetti? Yeah. You take a spaghetti and you, if you check its doneness and it sticks to the wall. No, like I used to do that. I, that's like what I did <laughs> to test. It's not good though. Don't do that folks. Your mom will get mad at you. You gotta keep your moms happy folks. All right, so what we're gonna do now is get the tofu. Get the tofu going. So we've got another pack of tofu, we've got bean sprouts, we've got green onion. Oh right, that's what I'm going to do, is uh, turn the filter off. Alright, so now green shouldn't be all wacky. Barbaric. You could just taste it. Yeah, to the wall. Imagine having a mouth. What? <laughs> no, it's a thing. Like, I, am I the only one who's thrown pasta at a wall? Can someone please chime in if you've done that before? Throwing a pasta noodle at the wall. 
to see if it sticks. Come on, that's a thing. It's a thing, I promise. Don't do it. Don't do it, but it's a thing. So same thing, we're just going to press this tofu. I'm gonna wrap it up, get some weight on it. And this just basically helps get the extra moisture out so it cooks down easier. All right, uh, I'm just gonna clean up a little. We don't need this stuff anymore. I, th I don't know, I don't remember if this is in the fridge or not. <laughs> I forget where I found it. Let's put it in the fridge. Uh, Esther, once I've got a proposition. A few days ago, I discovered Super Painting Program, and I could try to paint some sub emotes for you. Oh, no worries. Yeah, no worries, Esther. I actually have no room for emotes. Um, I've got my slots all filled out. That's super generous of you. But yeah, unfortunately right now, I'm not able to add any more emotes. It's more fun throwing it at the wall than eating it. Hey, she dreams. My mouth is sensitive to hot foods and I didn't want to sit there. I found out a piece of pasta. So wait, are you saying you're... Is this a thing? You've never heard of this, Maria? Oh no. I have thrown it at the wall. Hey, Aspidistra. Aspidistra. Good to see you. Okay, we got, we got something to show uh, Aspidistra here. Just give us a second. But welcome in, uh, let's get this going. All right, this is for you, Aspidistra. Let's read it out again. Two Aspidistra hats from Sarah. I might not know much about you, Aspidistra hats, but I'm sure you're the cutest, like ones as rats. Wait, no, I mean cats. Well, only one, Grim. He's the cutest for real, but his owner needs a trim. Even though I, a total stranger, might not have much of a say, I truly do hope that you, Aspidistra hats, have the nicest day. I hope someone's treating you to flowers and ice cream, and that it's happening in real life, not just in your daydream. Even though I'm writing you a nice poem, please don't be smitten. I don't have time for romance. I'm making rabbit mitten. And for now, I gotta go. I'm playing the long dark. Just got stomped by a moose, and I need some birch bark. Nice one again. Thank you, Sarah. That was lovely. You might have done it as a toddler, but I don't think it counts. You did that in high school? That's how you were raised in Chicago. When you cook pasta, you wait for the water to boil to add the pasta or not? Um, stomp, usually I add uh, the pasta once the water's boiling. Yeah, I don't know if that's right or not. does depend if you're making pasta sauce you can cook from cold and the water is starchier yeah using some of the pasta water is is always clutch isn't that sweet aspidistra yeah sarah's lovely now that was some poetry um yeah esther i have all my slots filled i have all my slots filled up so i am i'm only right now unless i get a partnership i'm only allowed five slots that's the max i can have But, you know, maybe one day, maybe one day. All right, let's get this going. We gotta check on our... We gotta check on the doneness. It's not there yet. It said six minutes, it's been like 20. What the heck, what the heck, pasta? Let's add some more hot water.
Did you salt the water? <laughs> no, I didn't. Yeah, this is just like to heat it, but good to see you, Lynette. Yeah, it's rice, it's rice vermicelli. So I don't know, should I be salting it? Let me know, let me know. I don't know what I'm doing, but Lynette, great to see you, welcome. Happy Valentine's Day. Yeah, so those are my subs there. Thanks, Tess. Yeah, those are the ones. Oh, you got the nice emote? Nice, Tess. GG. All right. Tofu's done, ready to rock. So let's just prep this first. What I'm going to do is uh, a bit of soy sauce and cornstarch. And this is the same, you do this with the chicken or the beef. Um, I don't know about the prawns, probably not the prawns, but if you're using tofu, chicken or beef, it's the same thing. So we got about, oh and by the way, I, I basically double the recipe just because I like it saucy. Aw, Esther, that's really nice of you. But don't feel obligated because like I said, I won't be able to use them right away. Uh, only if in the distant future we get that that p word. <laughs> All right, we got some uh, we got some soy sauce in a bowl. This is tamari tamari soy sauce. And then we got our cornstarch. Again, I'm basically just eyeballing this at this point, but it's about like two to th four tablespoons of soy sauce to, you know, a, a teaspoon or a tablespoon of cornstarch. So I'm just mixing this, and this is going to coat the tofu. So we've uh, pressed and taken the moisture out of our tofu. Now we kind of got to decide how, how large our tofu chunks need to be. So that's about, that's what, I'm, that's what I'm looking for here. Just like a nice cube. All right. Once is totally unaware. Oh no, what happened? Hey, surfing girl, good to see you, welcome. He does his routine to the song, It's Raining Men. <laughs> Get that P word. Wands is about to do dancing pecs thing. What? <laughs> Park Wars? My goodness. I don't know, I think that might get me banned on Twitch. I don't think I can do that. I'm not a titty streamer, you know? I don't got it in me. I'm pretty sleepy. My sister's okay, they're keeping her overnight. Oh no, I'm sorry. What happened, Aspatistra? I missed something. Well, I wish you the best. Your sister had a big alarm. They've checked her in. She's sleeping better. Oh, well, thoughts, thoughts to you and your family. I uh, hope she gets better soon. Juan's not a titty streamer. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, we're going to mix the tofu now. This is basically just like a light coating. Uh, the soy sauce cornstarch combo will help this fry up nicely and get a, get a bit of a coating when we put it in the wok. So if you're doing chicken uh, or prawn or beef, this is the first, first step. This is what goes in the wok after the oil. So we got this all nicely, nicely coated in our cornstarch soy sauce, and we'll stir that up every once in a while. Uh, now, basically, I can check on this again. I'm feeling like this is almost not working.
Yeah, it's way too chewy. Just keep going. Six minutes, my butt. What are they talking about, six minutes? Okay. So, this recipe is pretty simple. It's got uh, rice noodles, sauce, green onions, peanuts. Uh, the green onions and the peanuts are a garnish that goes at the end. What else? Uh, I used to put eggs in it, but I'm going to leave that out. That's going to get me TOS, yeah. <laughs> Bone marrow transplant. Holy smokes. Aspidistra. That's, that's a huge... Huge ordeal, and with a cold. Oh my goodness. Well, wishing, wishing you the best and uh, your family. Uh, surfing girl, we've made quite a few treats today. Check it out. So far, we've made uh, these Asian wraps. They are comprised of uh, basically crispy tofu, sesame tofu, um, sautéed crispy mushrooms, vermicelli noodles, cabbage, and a spicy Thai peanut sauce, all wrapped up in a rice paper wrap. And then we made these, uh, they're called cookie dough bars. They are made from dates and oatmeal, and uh, they're no-bake cookie dough bars with a chocolate slash uh, flake salt on top. And it might. All right, let's wash our hands. Moving in. <laughs> what is a hog? So the question about the hob on the right. The hob is on the right. Oh, the stove? Oh, this? No, it's not turned on. I'm just supposed to have uh, hot water. And what part of Poland are you? We have good water in Tri City. Tri City, Poland? Is that a place? Hey, Rox, you made it for lunch. Get to see you, Rox. I saved you um, some Asian wraps if you want one. And then uh, I'll show I'll show Rox. She'll be proud of me. Rox should be proud of it. And then we've made a bunch of these. They're uh, flake salt cookie dough bars. So we got some flake salt and chocolate on top with uh, oats, dates, tahini, chocolate chips. Super simple, salt. Six ingredients, dynamite. And they're healthy, they're healthy, healthy. Only four tablespoons of maple syrup. But now we're just prepping the pad thai, so we're making pad thai now. Keep your knob away from the <laughs> You ordered Mexican bowls, nice. Yeah, rocks the uh, these spicy Thai wraps that I make. I basically do half the recipe for wraps, and then I do the other half for bowls. I love me a good bowl. Okay, we're losing focus. We got the noodles, tofu. All right, let's get the uh, sauce. This is the one thing that I have to find special. It's a uh, tamarind paste. Uh, tamarind. I don't know what it is, but this is what we got. So this stuff here, it comes with seeds in it um, and pulp and all sorts of stuff. So I don't really want any of that. What I'm gonna do is cut off what I want. Um, it's about a tablespoon. And I'm gonna add that to hot water. So this is the sauce we're making. And let me just uh, BRB for a second, folks.
I ran him back. Work with Yan, where he wore a terrible pun apron. Nice. Leaving heading your way. I'll post pics later. I'm making a cake that is decidedly less healthy. Brownie base than almond cheesecake and espresso mousse? What? My goodness. Holy smokes. I have groundwater, but it's polluted. Oh, Ruach. I'm sorry. That sucks. Okay. Fancy people like to hobnob. Okay, okay. I sent my VB V-Day card to the Discord. Oh, uh, nice, Gallifrey. Um, did you see the one we got of you? Uh, because we did read one on, uh, for you, Gallifrey, but I don't know if we had you in chat. So let us know, and we'll, uh, we'll post them both again. Okay, they're done. Well, not quite. A bit more, a bit more, a bit more. Just for you, Mark Wars. Happily eaten beef right now. Dumb question. Are discussions non vegetarian? Oh, no, no. Holy sea biscuits, no worries. Talk about whatever you want. <laughs> That's fine. I used to eat a ton of meat, I used to hunt my own game. I'm not uh, militaristic about my diet, and uh, I don't care what you're into. If you're eating meat, that's cool beans. I'm not one of those uh, one of those people. <laughs> I'm going to order some. Nice. We have peak frame digestives. There's an old copper mine near my home, so we have some copper in our water. Ooh. Yeah, I'm plant based. <laughs> All right, we're losing our focus. Uh, right, 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 right. This is this book I found years ago. Uh, it's awesome. Knack. Make It Easy by Darlene Ann Schmidt. Uh, it starts out and it basically takes you through the basics of Thai cooking. You know, as far as like what the ingredients are, um, you know, how things work, what kind of flavors, sauces, condiments. And then you've got some great, great recipes. I'm just going to go through this and make sure... I, I do say it to chat once, but I basically have completely changed this recipe. So the sauce, it calls for three quarter tablespoon of tamarind paste, quarter cup of hot water, two tablespoons of fish sauce, one to three teaspoons of chili sauce, three tablespoons of plum sugar. I double this recipe. So we're gonna get a half a cup of hot water. This is the only part that's a little complicated. So we've got this kind of tamarind paste. Um, we've got to we've got to get it basically kind of mixed into this hot water and then filtered out. So the hot water picks up the tamarind. It's kind of like a bitter. I don't really know how to explain it, <laughs> but it's a little dried out. So we got to rehydrate it, and then we'll uh, we'll filter all the pulp and seeds out. But I'm sure there's an easier way to get this ingredient. But yeah, this is kind of what I'm dealing with here. And this is um, the base of the pad thai sauce. And really, if you're only going to do one thing uh, from this, this is another good option. Getting this pad thai sauce figured out with the proper tamarind paste instead of like using ketchup, it's awesome. Okay, I'm just going to break this up. And uh, this is our base, so we're going to add the sugar and stuff to this. We want to do it sooner than later while it's still hot. But you can see that water's already turning a dark brown. It's picking up a lot of that tamarind, whatever the heck. Yeah, it's got an interesting smell, kind of a weird taste.
All right, we're good. Let's get another bowl. I'm just gonna use this to filter. And then we're gonna get all the juice we can out. So yeah, this, this stuff here I don't want in my sauce. I want the sauce to be smooth without pulp and seeds, obviously. My tummy dislikes it if you get my main in. Now wants dessert. All right, enjoy your dessert, Melody. Oh, you should see the books they made us buy. One of them has a thousand pages. What? <laughs> You saw on Discord? Aw, oh, nice Gallifrey. Hey, Dab. What's up with the Karate Master? Why do people keep saying that? You're gonna go order? Nice. Pad Thai? Well, um, with this Aspidistra, you can make it not hot if you want. Like, you don't have to add the chilies. You can basically make it real mild. You can buy tamarind paste. Yeah, this is basically like the stuff straight from the source. <laughs> Have you tried an Asian supermarket? Well, this is my what I prefer. I know you can get it as a paste, but this is like the real deal stuff. Hey, too much cake, good to see it. I don't understand the stream. How are you sending this to Australia? Yeah, good question. <laughs> All right, we gotta do this quick. Because um, you want the water to be hot still. So it calls for quite a bit of sugar, but I'm not going to go like all the way. If I double the recipe, it should technically be six tablespoons of brown sugar. That's redonkulous. I'm going to go like five, four, and we'll see how it tastes. And then this here, this is the, uh, it's a sweet chili sauce. So you don't have to use like real spicy chilies. You can just get away with this. So like if you don't want it hot hot, this is what you just use. But because I like a little heat, I'm gonna throw a few of these in. Crushed chili. Just to give it a little little bit more kick, you know? Be careful though, you don't want it too crazy. Okay. Now we're going to make what did it what did it say? I need two tablespoons of soy sauce. Or um, fish sauce. Yeah. So we need four tablespoons of fish sauce, but we don't have fish sauce. So we're making, uh, we're making something different. This is um, first time I've tried this. But basically we're doing soy sauce with pineapple juice. And that's gonna give us, that's gonna give us a little bit of our uh, flavor that we want. You can add sugar too if it's not sweet enough. But let's stir this. This is our pad thai sauce. Minus fish. Minus fish sauce. Alright, I just want to place this. That's good. It's crazy. It's just pineapple and soy sauce, but it's totally different tasting. I got some left over, so at the end of the like mix, I'll taste it, and if it needs more um, salt, I'll add the fish sauce. If it needs more sweet, I'll add sugar. If it needs more heat, I'll add chilies. So you gotta you kind of gotta test it at this point, um, but it should be sweet, spicy, and umami. It's like everything, it's dynamite. And this is the secret weapon. If you can make this sauce. 
your pad thai is gonna knock the socks off of anyone. This is the real deal. It's pretty good. It's not bad. It's, that's just like almost the same as with fish sauce. So that was the one concern I had was uh, the replacement fish not fish sauce not working for me. Um, basically, you'll have to throw away your kitchen and start again. What? <laughs> Hold on, I missed something. Spice chat? Yeah, as uh, as This is my this is my favorite part of my kitchen is to have all these labeled spices at hand. I don't have to look anywhere for them. They're just all there. I got everything too. It's got I've got like cloves. I've got cumin, I've got coriander. I eat uh, tamarindino paletas from the street vendor down the beach nearest me, but I'm the only one in the family that likes them. Never drop your fish sauce? Oh, it stinks, yeah. Thanks, two hours ago. Back to watching the snowfall. Oh, Roxel, thanks for joining us. Appa, hello. You have the same oven? Yeah, it's like an apartment size, so it's a little smaller, but it does the job. Stay safe, Rox. Enjoy. Take care. All right. Stopping it up, check your numbers. Was bad for those. The fact that you have to put your hand over the knob to turn it on is questionable design. Um, I like getting tamarind chili paste. It's like candy. Yeah. Just means you have better taste buds. Yeah, you have more advanced taste. They like the coconut or pineapple. Sweet stuff. Nice. Mustard seed. Yeah, we have. I have mustard seed, but it's not in my big cupboard, I think. Maybe I don't have mustard seed. I thought I did somewhere. I have ground mustard up on the shelf. One's kitchen is normal size. He's just eight feet tall. <laughs> Not quite. Huge. Can tell. Imagine being able to reach your own covers like that. <laughs> you guys are hilarious. All right. What the heck are we doing? What are we even doing right now? Let's strain this, because we totally forgot about it. Oops. And I'm going to rinse it under cold water. All right, that's going to chill here. We're straining. All right, so we've got the tofu, the rice noodles. Let's get the peanuts and the green onions now. I'll do like three green onions. I'm just gonna quickly wash them. All right, here's a little trick. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna quarter these most of the way. So I'm basically kind of pre pre shredding them. If that makes sense. Just so they chop up a bit finer. Tools in your kitchen? Nice. You're 5'4, but I have tiny legs and arms. You can't reach all. I'm constantly getting things for people. Yeah, Mark Wars is going through the grocery store and um, people are saying, Excuse me, Mark Wars, can you reach that for me? <laughs> I can picture it now, Mark Wars. 
Yeah, I'm not, uh, I don't have to worry. I'm not that tall. I'm not that tall. Uh, the only person who ever asked me to reach something for them was my mom, because she's shorter than me. Mm. Okay. Peanuts now. Uh, I've got these just plain, no salt, uh, no skin peanuts. And so I used to have, this was my coffee grinder. But then I upgraded to uh, Barazza Encore, which is this dynamite uh, conical burr grinder. Kicks, kicks major butt. But what I'm going to do here is uh, turn the sound down and then grind some peanuts up. I just need like half a cup of peanuts ground, but not like too fine, just chunky, chunky with some fines. It's like kind of chunky, kind of fine. So that's what we want. That's what we want. All right, so right now we've got our green onion, our peanuts, and Sorry, we've got a green onion, our peanuts, and these are just sprouts. So this is all the garnish that we add after. Let's just mix our tofu again. Get it recoated. All right, so we got all the elements ready. Easy mate, let's go. I'm gonna just uh, go AFK for a minute, folks. I don't ask for help either. If anyone asks me for anything, I always get some sort of ribbon for my asserts. <laughs> hey, Captain, I always need to reach tall items, and since I'm so proud, I just climb the shelf. Mercy Dad would follow me. <laughs> Gets on one knee and offers high five. Nice. You guys are hilarious. Folks, thank you. Okay, BRB, I'm just gonna quickly run to the bathroom, and then we're going to uh, make some pad thai. Are you ready?
All right, how's this sound? Uh, we got the walk here. I'll probably zoom in on this one. How about? I'm worried about the splatter, so I've moved my mic. <laughs> All right, this is my walk. It's uh, a Breville, and uh, it says it's a gourmet walk. Gourmet, gourmet walk right here, folks. So I got my splatter screen, because the first step of this is real, real splattery. So let's just run through this. We're gonna add heat, oil, then we'll do the tofu, get that crispy, and then what we do is normally you'd add egg, excuse me, herb. You'd add egg and get that scrambled so you can mix it in. Uh, then you add your noodles, your sauce, and basically at that point we're going to continually mix it. Like continually. It's got to be, you can't just let it sit. Like when I start the walk, it's go time. It's go time, folks. <laughs> All right. This is fancy. Yeah, two tanks. This is, uh, this was a gift and I got it years ago and I use it all the time, it's awesome. It's uh, it's kind of big, and there's nowhere where it lives other than like in this cupboard here, and I have to like uh, pull everything out to get to it. You can get behind this. Hey, hey Rob, good to see ya. Hey, Triz, happy Valentine's Day. Hugs, hugs for Trizak, everyone. We got you, Triz, got you, buddy. Oh wait, happy Valentine's to everyone except me? What the frick? Trizak, get out of here. I'm banning Trizak now, it's over. See ya. You're gone. <laughs> get out of here. All right, I'm uh, turning this up to like, out of uh, 14, I'm turning it to like 11. So I'm getting it hot. Hot, hot, hot. All right, GG. Time out for Triz. Nah, I just deleted the one message. <laughs> but Triz, good to see you, bud. How you doing? Welcome. Welcome in. This one, it's like 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, high seer. And I've got it in between the 12 and the 14. Wait, no. Nope, 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 nope. Uh, I've got it in between the 10 and the 12. That's where 11 lives. Right in the middle. Hey, Sarah, good to see you, welcome. Sarah, we have a couple Sarahs, but Sarah17, welcome, hope you're well, good to see you. All hail night, tough now. What? It goes to 11. <laughs> okay, what am I even doing with my life? All right, let's get this hot. We're just gonna chill here. How's everyone doing? Hi, how's it going? Great to have you all. Thanks for joining me today. We've got uh, we've got quite the crew here for the cooking stream. I thought we'd only get the diehards, honestly, but I, I love seeing everyone. Cheers. Cheers. Whoa. Actually, I'm out of water. Let's get some more water. For everyone just joining us, we've been cooking a, a storm here. We made these um, amaze, amazing rice noodle wraps with uh, crispy, crispy mushrooms, sesame tofu that's baked, vermicelli, cabbage. I also made these uh, cookie dough bars with chocolate and salted caramel on top. Delicious. All right, folks, uh, forgive me. As soon as this kicks off, basically, I can't do anything. Hey, Cobra, good to see you. Welcome. I'm getting my secret weapons out. So this is what I'm going to use here. I got this uh, this combo. And basically, when I'm ready, we're just going to be continually flipping, flipping the works. All right, folks, we've got some heat. Let's do it. Are you ready? This is what like uh, this is serious business. It takes like 20 minutes total to make this recipe, 
Um, but once you like get the walk going, it's like five, five minutes. It doesn't take long at all. Unless you really want some crispy tofu. All right, let's get some oil in here. I'm going to give the oil a second to heat up, but not too long. No worries, ones. I think we all know that wok frying is super fast. Yeah, yeah. I'll be. I'll just be into it, and I'll try to read chat. Hey, emancipated. Did your IRL, IRL uncle meter? Yeah, we almost lost well fed, so we're here. We're here uh, trying to maintain well fed. <laughs> but thanks everyone again. Really appreciate you joining me today. Sponsored by Kirkland. Yeah, like no, no jokes. We got everything from Kirkland here. This fancy olive oil is Kirkland. Um, let's see what else. These meats I got at Kirkland. They're not Kirkland brand. Uh, what else is Kirkland? Uh, there's so much Kirkland junk here. I'm all about it. Okay. Let's do this. So I'm getting uh, all this evenly coated. And then we're going to let it fry. want a bit of a crust on this here. Um, if you're doing chicken, make sure you just cook it long enough. Uh, Kirkland is like Costco uh, store brand, Costco, Costco knockoff brand. Sure. What? What? Okay, I am totally out of it now. I don't know what chat's going on about. I don't know what chat's is doing. But yeah, like I said, with the high heat, this doesn't take long at all. You just gotta go for it. Just get a crisp on all four sides of these churches. Like, you don't have to, but come on. Crispy tofu, folks. If you've been here today, that's what you know it, what it's all about. It's a TV show from the 90s. You should have been in the food and drink category, not just chatting. Wait, there's a food and drink category? Dang. Are those potatoes? No, this is tofu. Tofu, uh, tofu that's mixed in soy sauce and cornstarch. So you can see, like, it's starting, I don't know if you can see it, it's starting to get a crust though, it's turning, instead of white, it's turning more golden. So once it's all golden, all the way around, that's when we add the next, that's when we go to the next adventure. You know, you can meticulous, meticulously flip these to get, like, an even, an even cook on all sides. The mom is going to cook you meat. Yeah, nice, uh, nice one. The volume, yeah. Volume up, what do you think? I, I, I'm hitting yellow in my volume meter, so I'm a little nervous. <laughs> I feel like it's a little loud. Kind of hard to show, but I'm trying to show you that it's got that that crust on it. All right, so I'm ready, ready for the next step. All right, this is where it all happens, real quick, folks.
So now we've got the sauce, we've got the noodles, we've got the tofu. And what's going to happen is the sauce is going to basically cook into the noodles uh, slowly. And that will help finish the noodles and uh, add all that flavor. You're basically just going to toss it like this until it's done. And it will be done when there's no liquid. If you've used up all the liquid and it doesn't feel done, add a bit of like um, broth to it if you have it. Oh yeah, so you can see the sauce is starting to get absorbed into the noodles. I'm, I'm, I'm hoping you can see. Basically, uh, it's starting to dry out a little. I'm turning on the heat a touch. But you can tell the noodles are getting cooked a bit more at this point. I'm actually going to chop up some of this noodles a bit, just because it's a little, um, they're a little long, if you know what I mean. Alright, that's it folks. We're turning the heat off. And then we're adding our, we're adding our, uh, garnish? And we give it another toss here. Yeah, it looks like a lot of bean sprouts. So what you want to do is incorporate everything until it looks like the bean sprouts are, you know, evenly spread, basically. And again, the heat's off right now. We don't really want to cook the bean sprouts. You want them to be like nice and crunchy, if you know what I mean. Alright folks, there you go. What do you think? How's that looking? Nice color? Here, let's see. Alright, for the final touch here, this is important. This is the most important step. Alright, so this is like my portion, alright? It's not done yet though. It's not done yet. Oh, who's cheering bits? Hey, hey Storm! Nice! Good to see you, Storm. Thanks for the cheer. Hello. Thank you, thank you. Alright folks, we've got granulated sugar. So in Thailand, uh, that's what they serve as a side once you get your pad thai on the street. So check this out. You use pad thai and chili, crushed chilies, as a garnish. You don't need much, folks. You don't need much. Just a little sprinkle. And a little pinch. And 
And if you look at it, it basically finishes the the meal. A little sweet, a little spicy. Let's try it out. It's a little sweet and a little spicy, just like me. <laughs> there we go, folks. What do you think? Let me just unzoom here. Close-up of my back. Nice. Hey, Storm Jenna, good to see you. What you cooking? So, so far we've made three things. We've made these spicy Thai peanut wraps. It's a uh, crispy tofu, crispy sesame tofu. Oh, this is why it's all wonky. Uh, and then, <laughs> one second. Crispy tofu, crispy mushrooms, cabbage, vermicelli noodles, and uh, spicy Thai peanut sauce. And then we made these cookie dough bars. They're basically chocolate chip, oats, dates, and chocolate. Tahini, very simple. And now we've got our perfect pad thai, just like you would have it in Thailand, minus the uh, eggs <laughs> or chicken. Yeah, it's just like a tiny bit of, bit of sugar. And you'll notice now, like, the sugar's melted in and it's made a glaze. It's made a glaze. So that's that's why it looks shiny, is it's kind of like finished. It's finished with the sugar. All right, cheers, folks. Mm -hmm. Yep, it's bad Thai. We did it. Cheers. We did it, folks. It's really nice. You've got the noodle. And then you got the crunch from the, the sprouts, and you got the peanuts in there too. So you got all sorts of nice textures going on. You know, you could add more to it or less if you wanted, but this is just, this is the way I do it now. Cheers, everyone. And you now have lunch, yeah. Look at this, look at this. This is like five pounds of Pad Thai. <laughs> And I have the wraps still, and the cookie dough bars. We got it. We got it, folks. Cheers. Stomp. Uh, I'll tell you, you can add sugar to tomatoes and a bit of salt and pepper and oil, and it will taste delicious. Yeah, here's a tip, folks. If you, um, if you go to a restaurant and you order something and there's like a side of carrots and you're like damn these carrots carrots taste so good like what did they do to the carrots what they did was add an obscene amount of butter and sugar <laughs> so if you're like um trying to eat healthy obviously you don't do that but if you want like restaurant style food you gotta add the the butter the sugar the salt the pepper good thing we like leftovers <laughs> i love my leftovers but again, thank you everyone for hanging out with me today. This has been a lot of fun. Yeah. Stomp, you got it. Like, when you're tasting your food, um, you know, you have a taste of it, you see what it needs. Maybe it needs a bit more sweetness, maybe it needs less salt, more salt, uh, maybe you're missing some unami. But basically, you get, you get a vibe for a dish the more you cook it, and you kind of know... Uh, you know what to do. <laughs> GG. I'd say a teaspoon with a pot amount of stuff. Love watching it cook. Aw, oh, thanks, surfing girl. Yeah, no, I enjoyed this. Um, I'm sure we'll do it again too, folks. If, if you enjoyed it, um, put, a, put some hype into chat and we'll plan another one. What do you think we should cook next? Uh, put some hype and your cooking ideas into chat. We'll see what we can do. Uh, that's why some cuisine is good. Go crazy with the salt, fat, and sugar. Yeah, you, you got it. That's it. Um, but that's, like I said, that's like if you have guests over and you want them to be wowed by your cooking or if you're at, like, a restaurant. But, like, if you did that every day, <laughs> it might be tough. It might be tough to keep up with it. Aw, uh, you guys like, uh, you like it? A quiche? Uh, I don't eat eggs, so that would be tough for me. <laughs> we could do pierogies. We could do more baking um what else do i make we could do a curry we could do indian 
pizza, yeah, the way I make pizza, it's it's really not like pizza. It's like gluten-free dough, fake cheese, <laughs> and veggies. Uh, Wands, many here asking for you to do an upper body workout stream. Oh, God. I haven't been to the gym in 15 years. 15 years, folks. I, uh, I let the universe shape my body. That's my, that's my way. I try to have an active life um, at work. I'm busy. And when I'm, like, doing downtime stuff, I do, like, hiking, uh, a bit of biking. But I don't go out of my way to do physical training. I used to. I used to be real serious uh, because I was competitive in rowing. So I had, like, dry land practices daily. I was running the lakes, you know, 10Ks, 10K run in the morning kind of thing. I don't do that anymore. Hiking, yeah, hiking is great. You know, put a 50-pound pack on your back and go out into the woods for a few days. It's going to trim you up. You're hyping me a stomp. Do it. Honestly, um, it's a little, like, stomp, let's, let's talk here. It's a little um, intimate to take, take chat into the kitchen, you know? But it's really neat. I think it's a great way to have some fun with the community, and uh, it's just different, you know? It's different. We always just play the long dark, but here we are. We're chatting, we're cooking, we're hanging out. Hey, Sagi, good to see you. I let the universe shape my body. Wow, that is like Gandhi-type philosophy. <laughs> I said that, like I used to work with someone, and she was like, once, do you work out? And I was like, no. And she's like, what do you mean? And I was like, I let the universe shape my body. And I was dead serious. Like, that was my kick I was on. I was pretty uh, hippy-dippy, hippy you could say. <laughs> but they thought that was the funniest thing in the world. I let the universe shape my body. And basically what I'm saying is if I start um, declining in my health or physique, I'll know that uh, the universe has turned its back on me. But I just got to get out there, get outside, walk around once a day, go to work, lift up some heavy stuff. Corn dog, geez. Let's, uh, let's deny that one. Yeah, we, we try to keep it uh, family friendly here, corn dog. And no, it was just a work friend. Just a work friend. You can have female friends in your life, Corndog, and you don't have to uh, be trying to come up on them. <laughs> Once you're... What? Jeez, I don't know if I want to read chat anymore. <laughs> Trezak, I'd take you in the kitchen. Oh my god. What is going on? You can do a chest shaving stream. No. I have never, ever, ever. <laughs> Couldn't can start now. Uh, I have made a vegan lasagna in an instant pot. Surfing grill. A lasagna in an instant pot. It's not that good, <laughs> but I did make it a few times. Bonk. You're very good sounding sad chat has gone wild hey gently moving welcome to the grim gang thanks for coming by we're just eating we've been uh we've been cooking up a storm here now chat's getting out of hand <laughs> chat gone wild yeah i don't have many mods either like <laughs> maybe i should promote some people who hang out here to help me protect this stream Uh, exclamation point gamble. Close. Hey, cats or jerks, once, could you eat a single noodle by hand? Um... <laughs> I don't know if I could do that. All right. You did Kappa? Once, you're quite the catch. Oh my goodness. <laughs> All right, all right, let's stop. Let's stop. I'm, I'm gonna blush, folks. All right, we'll eat a noodle, and then chat, you gotta leave me alone after this, okay? There we go. <laughs> oh my god. All right, that's it. We're, <laughs> we're done now. We're done now. Wands, if you want to promote me to pizza police, just tell me. <laughs> oh, goodness. All right, you guys are hilarious. 
Well, we did it. We did it, folks. I gotta clean up this giant mess in my kitchen and set my stream right. Trizak! My goodness. We all know that look uh, that took the wrinkles out of my Wranglers. <laughs> No. Oh, Mark Wars. Oh my god, what have I done? Oh my goodness. <laughs> Go to Horny Jail. <laughs> yeah, I think we need to send all the chat to Horny Jail. But it is Valentine's Day. Love you all. You're awesome. The perverts included. <laughs> but folks, uh, Hawkeye, you're heading out? Get weird for me now? Aw, I'm sorry. Yeah, it got a little weird, didn't it? Well, apologies, Hawkeye. Take care. We're just ending the stream in a minute here anyways. <laughs> All right. Again, thank you, everyone, for joining us. Sorry we scared Hawkeye off. You're a bit of a chef. It's fascinating king called cereal. Ooh, cereal and milk. Yeah, kind of like uh, that fancy way you, you make bread into toast. But think, thanks again, Hawkeye. Take care, my friend. Are we raiding? Is Helga streaming? Yeah, sure. Let's go raid Helga. I just need to make sure I get the name right. Whoa, Surfing Girl, holy smokes. Thank you so much for the dono. Surfing Girl, thank you, thank you. That's super generous of you. Very, very kind. 2537, that must be 20 USD. <laughs> go Canada, our dollar is kicking butt. But thank you again, Summer. Maria, Penguin of War, uh, Tomek, Aspidistra, Akai, Gallifrey, Keith Tree. You put milk in the bowl first? What? Oh, you're crazy. Quill. Quill with the strawberry eating, the leaf part, and the milk first? Oh, no. Thank you, Rock, Maria, everyone. You're awesome. Thank you so much for coming by, hanging out with me. Uh, Helga D H A R. All right, we're gonna go visit Helga, folks. New to streaming, but kicking butt. Let's go visit Helga. And thanks again, everyone. You've been awesome. Really appreciate it. Thank you for hanging out with me. Happy Valentine's Day. And uh, another big thanks to Yen, everyone, for organizing the Valentine's Day cards. Wait, invalid username. Ah, oh, crap. I spelled it wrong. Helga. D H A R. Let's try that again. Thanks, Silty, everyone who's hanging out still. You're awesome. Cheers. Really appreciate you. Uh, let's go visit Helga. And again, thank you, Yen. You're awesome. Everyone who contributed to the cards, thumbs up. I really appreciate that. That was some f fun little uh, little side content for the day. Get this out of trouble. Thanks for organizing. Yeah, there's the Discord, folks. Hop on it. All right, let's take off. Sorry things got weird, everyone. It was bound to happen eventually. <laughs> take care, folks. We'll see you tomorrow. I'm going to be starting bright and early with TLD. We're on day nine of uh, our insane challenge, and uh, I'm out of food. So we'll see. But Keep Tree, thanks for popping by. Hope to see you again. And thank you, everyone. Let's go raid Helga. Bye. Take care, folks. Happy Valentine's Day, everyone. Love you all. Kisses. Hugs. Take care, everyone. Bye, Jasmine. Bye, Tutank.